All right, so what is the preferred way for us to watch the summer game fest today? Is it to like window capture on Twitch or YouTube or what? Add more Eric's, I can add more Eric's, sure. Eric, 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 Eric. See here, it's Eric backwards. Did I feed you? Oh, not only did I feed you, the food is still in the bowl. Go eat. Go eat. You good boy, go eat your food. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Will you stream the Xbox event? Is it today? Xbox event is on the 11th. Yeah, I guess maybe we will. I don't know. How is your kid liking Xenoblade? Um, he hasn't played it, again, since the last time I saw him. Right now, to my great shame, he is playing Terraria on expert mode. Dramatic pause. With God mode turned on. I know, right? I know. Not only did he cheat at the game, he also cheated himself. Are you ever playing the Persona 2 duolo duology? Probably not, no. Like father, like son, I've never cheated in a game in my life. Can you add one sire with, okay, yeah, sure, hold on. There you go. Are we actually doing any spins or can I put up a bet for summer games? So you can put up a bet for summer games, so we're not actually doing any spins. So no, so, yeah, what, what, what's there to spin? Wait, why would you have a bet when the bet is already on the wheel? Is it like a side bet? Are you, are you guys shorting the wheel? Why are we spinning Joe? Finish Gollum? We did not finish Gollum. Today is the Summer Games Fest, which is... I think today is basically the biggest day of what is now E3, right? What E3 has become now that E3 is dead. Is today the biggest one? It must be, right? Window capture, Twitch, or YouTube is fine. If you're watching YouTube, you need to set the speed two times two to give the stream time to catch up with live latency. What? So we're gonna watch in fast forward mode? I think we'll just do Twitch. Hey Joe, did you know it's June 9th in Australia? Conveniently, that's my 18th birthday. I've been watching your content for the past four years now and you've done more for me than you can imagine. But more importantly, can we recognize uh, that June 9th is also the birthday of David Cage, the Charles Dickens of video games. Can we, can we get everyone to wish a happy birthday to David Cage for all the Australians that watch your content? Happy birthday, David Cage. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Is David Cage even Australian? No. <laughs> Isn't he French? Siri, is David Cage Australian? Nope, she won't even talk about this one. All right. Siri, how are you feeling today? Nope. Yeah, but I live in Australia, so this is for me. Okay. So there was a message that someone said a bunch yesterday that I missed. Um, actually, there was a couple. One was that someone is going into game design or they're starting a game and watching my videos on YouTube helped them make that decision, which is uh, simultaneously very flattering and also uh, terrifying. Hopefully it goes well for you and I didn't poison <laughs> your start. Ho hopefully it was for the best instead of, uh, instead of a detriment. Uh, good luck with your endeavors. I, I wish you all the best. Um, hopefully you hear this if you watch the VOD back. Uh, someone else was asking a couple times yesterday, did I know about um, the YouTube channel Never Knows Best having his second channel deleted and YouTube not um, communicating with him? Um, I don't know the full details on that. I have heard of it. Yeah, I saw it on uh, I saw it on the Reddit. Uh, there was a post about it. Apparently a big video that he did also got demonetized and YouTube won't talk to him. And um, that is like not the biggest reason why uploads have slowed. Uh, you know, or some might even say completely stopped on the main channel, but uh, it is a, a quite a big factor. Um, uh, YouTube's bullshit is one of the reasons why um, I got into starting a game much earlier than I probably should have because, uh, thank you, Lily. And also why we stream because YouTube system is, is, um, is insane and you can't talk to anybody. So yeah, now I do, I do want to quickly qualify as I always do when it comes to stuff. I don't know if expecting YouTube to be insanely better is even a reasonable ask considering how much content gets uploaded to YouTube. So I wonder if, if you fully understood the inner workings of, of that system, I wonder if it's like, okay, do you want good support or do you, or do you want literally anybody to be able to upload stuff to YouTube? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. 
like I, I want to just acknowledge that possibility even though I don't want to give them any out because it's so frustrating trying to talk to someone on YouTube, you know? I mean, they are a billionaire co corporation. Even then, like the sheer amount of content and the users that go on YouTube and how copyright is just a mess and how like we're, we're in, the, I, I feel like, didn't I watch like a Tom Scott video about this or something? I can't remember. Like we're at this weird like moment in history when it comes to copyright law that you everything that what i'm doing right now might be illegal and we just haven't decided it yet like like it's like we're we're like all like playing chicken with each other like and by we i mean like like corporations like youtube compared to like games and stuff like how are we how are the, this is going to shake out going forward i feel like there's like been a big like court case that hasn't happened yet to to figure all this out um when it comes to how content is distributed going forward maybe it won't come to that maybe it'll be more of a like oh everyone just worked it out which would be nice but it's really frustrating and you know this is just how the system is kind of just duct taped together at the moment um yeah so i do i do feel bad for the situation and i and i kind of understand it but at the same time it is just so frustrating to base your livelihood on that um which is otherwise a, a an exceptionally good job you know like it's it's not i'm not complaining about the the work hours or anything like that although that can get to me sometimes um but the um dealing with like the reality that i could just wake up any day and youtube has just deleted my whole entire channel and i and i literally cannot talk to somebody at youtube to fix it like like I would have a better chance of getting on a plane and like finding someone that works at Google headquarters and like going in and saying, "Hey, can I talk to the to to, to the manager? My name's Karen." Then and like I'm probably get thrown up by security, and even then I would have a better chance of talking to someone than I would like trying to email. You know, like it's just insane. Job security is a thing of the past in every industry. Possibly, you might be right. However, I am. I don't like to talk about this. I like to talk about like uh, I don't. Like to I don't like to talk about it. I do bring it up that I'm narcoleptic, but I don't like to talk about how severely limited I am by the narcolepsy. Like I kind of have to work from home. I can't hold a regular job anymore. It's been like that for a while. So it's it's particularly um, dicey for me. I'm a I'm probably in a very different place now anyway, so I think it wouldn't be too bad, but it still is kind of scary. Same way I also have narcolepsy. It sucks, doesn't it? Hope you enjoy the dreams at least. Please spin the wheel. Why? It's not gonna do anything. It's all Eric. Eric wins. Do you think Starfield will actually be good? I kind of am starting to have somewhat of high hopes for it, or medium hopes. A I have a little hope. There's a crumb of hope. I, I feel like it's it's been in development for so long that maybe it has a chance of being good. Don't get baited by Tom, Tom Howard, or are you responding to the Tom Scott thing? I also have narcolepsy. What do you mean by enjoy the dreams? I thought all we got were nightmares. Are, are you just getting nightmares? I There was a phase in my life where all I got were nightmares. I had a nightmare last night actually. Um, but there have been times in my life where I just get vivid kind of like weird dreams instead of just nightmares all the time. But I feel you, there, there was a period in my life where it was just nightmare, 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 nightmare. Yeah, so I get it. I have a very unhealthy relationship with sleep. I don't usually, this is why part of the schedule is, uh, sorry, this is part of the reason why the schedule is all over the place, especially this week. Um, you, you can probably anticipate that if one of the streams is late, then all the rest of the streams for the week are probably gonna be late at the same time, unless the stream was late because of an appointment or um, something out of my control happened. If it's because I got up late, then chances are that I'm stranded on a schedule for a while. Like I have this unhealthy relationship with sleep that I don't, I don't wanna go to bed until I am nodding off wherever I am. And sometimes I have some, um, some success with trying to do a Sudoku while I'm laying in bed. For whatever reason, I love Sudoku, it keeps me engaged. For whatever reason, trying to do a Sudoku when I'm already kind of sleepy will just send me off. Um, but like, other than that, like I've had thousands and thousands of times in my life where I've gone to bed and had to stare at the ceiling for like three, four, five, six hours. And I just hate doing that. I just won't do it anymore. So if it's like, uh, like if that happens, I just get back up again. So I try to not go to bed until I'm already like really, really, really tired. Did you hear about the... <laughs> Did you hear about Phil McGroin demonetization? No, I didn't. Ligma genitals. W what happened to Phil? I assume you've already tried the obvious suggestions. Uh, reading in bed, playing Life is Strange 2, etc. Yes, I have, yeah. Yeah. Another, another bout of social awkwardness is that almost every single... Um, 
uh, man that I ever told in my life that I have like trouble sleeping or, or whatever has has always responded to me with, "Why don't you just just rub one out right before you go to sleep and you'll go to and that that'll it and be like oh and like event like eventually I just started doing like like the Drake meme where I would just like slap my head and go ah oh, damn. Bro, I didn't think of that. Holy shit! Thank you. I'm cure. And so like, I don't. Like, it's like, <laughs> so like, if, if this is your first time interacting with me and hearing about this, like, I just come across as a dick, but I just can't. I just can't put up with it, man. Like, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, of course, man. I'm so stupid. Thank you. Like. I've always slept super well, but since I started ADHD medication, I sleep like shit. How do you survive the day? Maybe you need a different medication if it's affecting your sleep like that. Um, I think I'm used to it. I don't know. Bodies are... Human bodies are pretty adaptable, right? Just used to it. As I'm getting older, I feel like it's getting getting to me more, though. I don't know. One does not simply get new ADHD meds. Yeah, that's true, yeah. That's true. Just get on medication, Lameo. Just go... Just get a therapist. Like, how hard it is to get a therapist, how good it is to get a good therapist. Therapy takes time to work. Maybe your issues are are, are only partially treated by therapy. Like, just like, just, yeah, just get a therapist, let me know. Do you remember most of your dream? Yep. Last night's dream was about a scorpion. There was a scorpion in the house. And then I got a glass to put over the scorpion, and then it just started moving around like, like a vampire in True Blood. It was just, just zipping all over the place, and then I woke up. The dream before that, I was in a Quentin Tarantino movie, and he kept doing this shot about about um, about a train extending on the track, and he, like, and I was like, oh damn, this is such a good shot. Quentin Tarantino has done it again, and he just kept doing it. And I was like, damn, no wonder this is such a good shot. And then I woke up and I was like, that wasn't even a good shot. What the fuck was I talking about? Like, yeah, Joe's retinas for the resub with a message I saw earlier, so I will read it out. On a 34 month sub streak, like how Nintendo is on a streak of making the same Zelda game twice in a row. Boom! Thank you, is this Neopets for the bits? Thank you very much. I will read this message because it's because it's sweet. Hey Joe, we're trying to have our first baby and I want to thank you for being a big parenting inspiration. I take it back, it's scary. You're one of the only bigger internet personalities that talk about the positives of being a parent as well as the things you enjoy about it. I hope I nurture as healthy of relationships with my kids as you have with yours. Cheers. Aw, thank you. It was sweet. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I feel like, is it the, it's not, is it the, is it the, did it start with the, like, the boomer generation? I, this is not a hating on the boomers, but I just know this is something, this is a phenomenon that happened with the boomers. Um, it's around then, or a little bit late into that, that it be, that the social stigma of, of complaining about your children and how difficult it is to raise them, um, was removed. From my understanding before that, um, it really wasn't that socially acceptable to relentlessly bitch about how hard it was to raise your children. However, like a lot of things changed in that era too, like uh, dual income households. Um, like uh, there was also there also became a, a a big social stigma around beating the shit out of your children because that was just commonplace. Like the teachers used to be able to to, to beat kids in class if they misbehaved. That went away. So there was like a huge uh, like social social change that, that that came along with all that stuff. Um, which just blows my mind that, that teachers were allowed to do that. Um, so like, yeah. Um, and I think maybe that there was an overcorrection into like parents now being kind of let loose and, and allowed to, to vent. Um, and it's gone into like this other way where people like a lot of parents complain that it's, you know, it's the most difficult, hardest thing ever. And don't get me wrong. It's not easy, but you know, I'd rather do this than be an underwater oil driller you know what i mean like there's there's a lot harder things to do you know and like there's there's also a lot of benefits to it as well um so i don't know like there's it's definitely worth it it's not for everyone it's difficult but yeah i feel like it's healthy to be able to discuss the realities and the hardships when it comes to raising a child and parents should be allowed to do that but at the same time the way that some stand-up comedians in particular will just like relentlessly rip on their kids and how difficult it is i think sets a terrifying expectation for people who don't have kids that is going to be the most horrific thing in the world because that's only the first year At <laughs> after that uh no the it's not it's not too bad it's not too bad i would say that at the beginning the hardest part is coming from you and if it's coming from you that's a sign that you're a good parent because 
looking back, like having just one baby to look after, which for, for primarily sleeps all day, is pretty easy compared to what we have to deal with now. However, I was more stressed back then, I think, with not knowing what to do, always feeling like there's something I should be doing with the baby, you know, like, um, it, it, com it comes from within instead of like the baby actually being trouble. Now, that's that also being said, let me qualify it with like, we got pretty lucky, all, all four of our babies were pretty good. Some were better than others. Finn was an absolutely fantastic baby. Um, so, like, that was our first baby. Great, great starter baby. Highly recommend Finn. Um, slept quite well. You know, like, if your baby has, like, I think it's colic. None of our babies had colic. If, you're, if your baby has, like, colic or, like, doesn't sleep well or is a fussy eater or anything like that, then you might be in for a much rougher time than, than we were. But at the same time, we have four of the Rugrats, so I feel like we've had a, a pretty a pretty tough experience when it comes to parenting with all the overlap between them, which was totally our choice, by the way. But yeah, um, it, it, it can, most of the stress is going to come from within and like n knowing, like second guessing yourself, what am I supposed to be doing? If you have any familial support that you can stand, I would suggest that you take it and learn from them. But in our case, we didn't have any of that. Um, but if you do have that, then then lean on it. Don't take advantage of them, obviously. But like, yeah, like um, that can help quite a bit. And listen to your doctor as well, because a lot a lot of things change. Um, when when I think 50 years ago, they used to give they used to give babies water. You're not supposed to do that. Like ba babies get all the hydration they need from 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 formula or milk. Like you don't you don't give a baby water. Um, you also can't overfeed a baby. Like a like a baby will eat until they're, they're done and that's it. They don't have that kind of uh, response, this, this this insatiable appetite response. You can't overfeed a baby. Maybe that's something that's gonna change in the future. Maybe they're gonna find out, actually, there are, there are some chubby babies. You can't overfeed them, don't do it. Like, so there's, there's things like that that are constantly changing. Like the example we had was like um, dealing with the um, umbilical stump. Like, like just within the four kids that we had, that changed to keep it keep it as dry as possible don't get anything wet on it at all to like a couple babies later fucking submerge them in in water all the time get it as wet as you can la my oh no what are the better like like that's within like like a couple babies that that change so so who knows like it's they're constantly evolving good luck with the baby it's very very i want to say rewarding but that's kind of like a like a hackneyed word to say when it comes to raising kids but i can't think of a better one i don't know i just love my kids have you seen Anton Blast? Anton Blast these? No, I, I, I haven't, no. Stream this Evolve game before the showcase starts to prove you didn't make it up. I could, but it's not gonna be fun because progression is so slow. No, I don't want spoil. I don't have my save file down here because it's a fake made up game. All right, one second. Okay, let me reset. Soft reset, okay. Okay, will this work? All right, so this is this is Evolve Idol, okay? This is Evolve Idol or Evolve Incremental. So you start off in, I have Plasmids and Phage. This is, the, you will not have this when you start, okay? Um, this, you start off in the, in the genetic phase, okay? And you have RNA and DNA, and you click to create RNA, and you click to, to make DNA out of the RNA, and then you get membranes that increase your storage of them, this sort of thing. This, you're not in this, in this phase for very long, okay? Wow, this is so much slower than what I have to do when I when I when I uh, when I play the game now. All right, so let's go up here. This is not my current save, by the way. This is this is the save I had downstairs. I I moved my save upstairs like I don't know, a while ago. Let's put it that way. All right, I'm just clicking randomly right now. So you have to get up to a nucleus. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is not how I was expecting the game to look. What, what were you expecting? Like graphics? No, it's a browser idle game. What the hell? Do, do, do. I got halfway through Bitburner, never touching another idle game based. You got vaccinated. How about a live Sudoku solve? When aren't we starting in like 20 minutes? This is the most boring part of the game. It starts off pretty slow. It really picks up about 50 hours in. Like Zelda? No, that never picks up. I usually like to try to get um, 20 organelles and uh, 10 nuclei. What do I need? DNA. I need lots and lots and lots of DNA. All right, let's queue some it. Oh man, only having a three queue cl uh, is just insane. I only think you have a queue when you start, do you? What is mitochondria? It's the powerhouse of the cell. 
Increases the effect of membranes and ukulele cells. So these increase your storage. Man, we just can't get to sexual reproduction. It really makes you feel like you're a... Uh... Can you play this in VR? You are right now. This is the game of life. All right, let's get let's get 10 nuclei and then we, we, we can be done. Can't you just get to sexual reproduction to skip this phase? Is there a benefit to waiting? You'll see, this this keeps going. So basically, uh, a lot of the game is setting up like production bases for later. There's no more bonuses after this, so I just like to get out of the way and I don't have to click anymore. So I'm gonna get 10. So 20, 20, 10. 20, 20, 10, 5, 5 is what I usually go for, which is probably overkill, especially for the phase I'm at in the game in my in my proper save. But this is just the habit I formed. Usually I'm like already like into the into the proper species by now. This is just like super slow compared to uh compared to what it is. Alright, so now we're gonna unlock sexual reproduction, okay? So as as we're like a blob of uh of like ooze, we get here and now we can pick our path. So we can go to Phagocytosis, which is evolve in the direction of the animal kingdom. This is a major evolutionary fork. Or chloroplasts, evolve in the direction of the plant kingdom. This is a major evolutionary fork. We had sex. Or chidin, evolve in the direction of the fungi kingdom. This is a major, major evolutionary fork. If you are going to play the game, I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend that your first playthrough is either a chloroplast or a chidin, okay? I would probably lean toward chloroplast first, but chitin is pretty fine too. You can do this, you can do whatever you want, it's fine. But like, it is significantly easier if you do one of the other ones first. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go, um, uh, uh, should we go, which we should, should we do, chat? Chloroplast or, or, or chitin? Hard siesto? Oh, chitin? Chitin. Do we want to be a, a shoroplast or a chitin? shit in okay here hold on let me let me uh should i ex export and say no it's fine all right so we're gonna go sh shit in all right so mo now we're gonna go now we have to evolve some more so we get to multicellular we go to spores we go to rear bryo fight bro fight this is gonna take a while Okay, so now we can evolve sens sentience, or because I've already done a run as a molding, I can pick molding, okay? But like before, if you get here, it's just gonna say sentience. It's not gonna say challenge gene. It's not gonna say molding. Now a big one, a big part of the game is doing challenge genes, okay? If you go to challenge genes, you have this down here, okay? Oh man, this was even before I did Joyless and Steelin. So challenge modes and scenarios, you have to unlock these by by um, resetting the game once before, okay? So don't, don't worry about this, but you, this is important later on, okay? So, no starting plasmids, no free trade, no manual crafting, junk gene. So, a big part of the game is gaining mastery. So, if you do a run with all four of these activated, right? You get, see how this turned into a gold star up here and it's up here right, right now? So, if I take these away, right? It's now it's like, okay, now it's, a, now it's a, a plain star, now it's a bronze star, now it's a silver star, now it's a gold star. If you do that, if we go to stats and we go down to perks, right? You have mastery here. My mastery is 5.25. Okay, so for every achievement that you get, right? So like led led a certain um, like lost 250 soldiers in a single game, wiped yourself out with nuclear weapons. See how I have these stars here. So um, each achievement you get is worth 0.25% mastery. Now we'll see when we get into the game. Every single point of mastery from here is worth a production bonus. So if you have 1% mastery, you have a 1% production bonus to, to whatever you're making. So because there's so many achievements, this really adds up. So because I did this on like a plain star, like no star at all, this is only worth 0.25% mastery. But if I did it on a gold star, which is doing it with all four of these on, now it's worth 1.25% mastery so this really adds up even though this really makes it slow especially this one this one's really rough this one is the second rough one these two are almost like like they're not really that different no free trade is like who gives a shit no manual crafting can be shit at first if you're used to clicking the craft but like i actually prefer it with this on because i hate babysitting the the, the resources um so if you have but the these two are are really rough I would say this is the hardest one because plasmids give, give you a huge production bonus when, when you reset. That's basically your pre prestige resource. Um, but if you get used to it and you get your mastery up, eventually you can overcome it and then it's and then it's easier. Um, it really adds up with with uh, with production bonuses that you can get. So let's let's turn it off and we'll just do a normal run. So we're gonna go. If we do sentience now, we're gonna get a random fungi race. There are three, or we can go molding. So let's go. So let's go sentience. We can pick molding right now. We're gonna go sentience, and now we got. 
Shroomy. Oh, base Shroomy are so good. So we got, sh we're Shroomy. The Shroomy are a race of mushroom-like creatures. They prefer dark place places away from sunlight, sunlight, okay? So every race has their own traits and their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, I don't know if I would recommend going to the wiki to see because the wiki is, is really, really good. Um, so spoilers for Evolve, the, the wiki is a, a big part of the game. So if you go down to species, it will show you all the species that are in the game. So I will go to Shroomy right now and I can tell you what they are. So de Shroomy are, they're uh, detrivore, which means that they consume dead matter for nutrition, which means that they, they don't need to make farms. They're spongy, which means they can't pop, the population won't grow when it's raining. They're nectophilia, ne nectophilia, which means that they don't like sunlight and they they're happier when it's when it's uh, cloudy. And they're toxic, which is really good. You want to be toxic. Twenty percent factory money, alloy polymer production, eight percent nanotubes, staining production, thirty percent cement cement production. Like unironically, they're one of the best races in the game, um, especially when you want to do a fanaticism, fanaticism inheritance. Like uh, they're really really good. Anyway, so. And this is and this is the game. So a lot of it is like setting up builds and doing things. So now you're gonna click to get lumber, and then we're gonna uh, evolve. To, we're gonna research clubs. Now we're gonna gather some food, and after we do that, we're gonna get some bone tools, and then we're gonna gather some stone. And after you gather some stone, you can unlock the sundial, and then you're gonna gain knowledge and you can research some stuff as you go. All right. And this is the game, and you just kind of it's it's like this is like like aquarium how are my fish and the rest is kind of like hey like let's just let's just set up run so i want to set lumberjack to my default um uh job so all my new pops will go and be lumberjacks and i don't have to worry about farmers because i just compost um lumber and it's like a pittance of lumber like you won't even feel this you can have like so many of these and it's never ever ever gonna ever gonna matter um so you make civilization civilizations in this game yeah you build up a civilization like that's based on one planet at first but it can go later i won't spoil it but like you can you, it goes pretty far i haven't seen the full ending yet because uh because it's insane and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going um you won't have a build queue when you start you have to unlock that that's a bonus that i got as i played um so scientific method i just like queue some shit up and, and go i'm not playing like very at a high level at the moment but yeah and that's it and you just keep going like that um is it fun? I, I think it's fun as a progression system. It's really interesting. The the stuff in the mastery and the 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 plasmids and the phage and all this other stuff um, is really interesting to me from a progression standpoint. Is it better than Mario Odyssey? I think so. Yeah, I love this game. We want to get a rock quarry. What do we need for that? We need some stone. All right. So now that I have a rock quarry, um, I don't I don't need to click anymore. I'm done clicking. Uh, like, I, sorry, I don't need to click to gather anything. These are just useless now, unless you want to micromanage to the point. Like, I, ju I just need to click to, to build new things, and that's it. And that will increase the passive um, stuff that that are uh, that will be made. That's it. And that's it. You, and you keep going. So I won't show anything else. This is this is the game. Um, there are, if you like, look at the wiki. I will show the wiki again if you want to avoid spoilers. Um, there are a lot of races. See them all here. A lot of races. Um, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of achievements that you can get, and each one of these is worth. It'll tell you what to do with them. Each one of these is worth 1.25% mastery. There are a lot of universes. There's a lot of different things that you can do. There's a lot of prestige systems. Um, there's there's a, there's a lot into this game, um, and uh, the wiki um, seamlessly reads your save file. So the the way that the wiki knows that I've done this, the wiki knows I've done this, the wiki knows that I haven't done this, right? Um, so yeah. Uh, oh man, this is uh, this is a very old save. I've done almost all of these on four star as well. Can you use an auto clicker in this game? I don't know. You'd have to look that up. But I really, really like the uh, I really, really like the game a lot. It's really cool. So the wiki is like the in game almost. Yeah, I yeah I. It says that if you don't want to be spoiled on stuff, that you that you shouldn't use the wiki. And all the stuff when it comes like right now, I'm a shroomy and I can't see what my special stats are as a shroomy. Right? There's a system that you unlock later that after you do um, genetic sequencing of your race, it'll show you the traits that your race has. So you can get all the information in game, and there's even like a, a way to unlock it so you can see more stuff. So on that hand, on that hand, the wiki kind of felt like cheating when I realized that was in the game. But on the other hand, there's stuff in the game that you will just not be able to know how to do without reading the wiki like even one of the major resets is just bonkers for like finding out how to do it like i don't know how anyone would just stumble upon figuring that out that's something that you can do so i don't know would you recommend mad or bio seeds here's what my recommended recommended path is for you to do now that i have now that i've played the game quite a bit okay i think you should do like maybe you should do one mad reset to unlock 
some of the challenge genes and some basic unlocks for 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 your for your um for your save file you should do a couple more mads and maybe one or two bio seeds with with only having a two star run don't do a four star do to do a two star do the two easy ones that i that i just said do a couple of those then still as a two star um after you after you've unlocked all the easy stuff in in the in the crispr genetic line um do a a, a third reset which i won't tell you what it's called but do the one after bio seed keep going after bio seed to get into a different universe because every single four star that you do in another universe also gives you the mastery as if it was in standard so i did a bunch of four stars in standard and now i have to do them again when i didn't have to do them twice if i had known that accordingly do you know what i mean like if you if you do a four star in the heavy gravity universe you also get the four star credit in the standard universe at the same time now so now i've already done a bunch of them in the standard in the standard universe and now i have to do them again in the heavy universe and i and i would have um and I, I didn't have to do that so it's better to get into a different universe as fast as you possibly can um especially if you're going to do the four stars uh, mastery counts a little bit less in the other universes like like that so it can be it can be uh, a bit off what's he what's he cooking yeah they're different universes and the different universes have different roles who is he talking to someone in chat asked what what I would recommend they do this game's pretty deep man you should look into numbers go up idle a combat focused idle game that goes so unbelievably far I have a friend that's been playing it for years and it isn't a third through somehow yeah that's on Steam isn't it I've heard good things about that how did you find out about this game I googled what's the best idol game 2023 and a bunch of them show popped up and this was one of them <laughs> uh average days per reset then four stars seems like they they should would take weeks they don't they don't like you can get pretty uh, a four star run is about as uh about as long as your first run to get to mad because right now you're playing you're playing the game the first time you don't have the bonuses like all you're really losing is like you get it you don't have any cost creep right now you don't have any plasmids so the hardest ones don't don't change anything right so however long your first one is is how long the next one's going to be the crafting one doesn't really matter all that much to be honest especially if you pick a good race your second time like just just you know plan accordingly um and the free trade one is is like doesn't matter at all really anyway let's let's get this off the screen the crafting really hurts to be honest. Do you think so? I don't. Maybe I don't. I don't click the click the craft as, as often as I should. Are you talking about later on? Later on, I could see it, but I've I've never done the later ones with with crafting on. Like I've been doing four stars almost the whole time. The first ones kind of suck, but then once you get some mastery going, it feels a lot better. I find the game very relaxing. The crafting and trade ones hurt extremely bad if you're playing actively. Well, there's your problem. Honestly, I would recommend only doing three stars so you hit the third universe. Rush to evil universe, get the upgrades, and then uh, grind four star in Addy Matter. That might be a good plan. Like getting not doing four four stars super early might be might be good. Um, I don't I'm not sure about three stars even. What would your path where recommended path be? Again, this is spoilers for the for the bonuses you get in the different universes and the different challenges. I haven't seen all of those because I, I want to be surprised. I did a really, really hard achievement. Spoilers, it was the Galactic Landfill achievement. I did that one and I, I, on four star, my first time I did that, that reset, and I was positively giddy about what kind of perk it was gonna give me after I did it. And then I got it and it gave me literally fucking nothing. And I don't mean like it was a bad perk. I mean, there was no perk associated with that achievement. I was so pissed. I thought I was like, like, yo, I'm gonna get something good. This is a really hard way to do, and just, just, it's just an achievement. This is like, there's nothing to it. So like, I was pretty, I was pretty angry about that. But then I did the 99 super colliders one on that same run, and that perk, oh man, oh man, I'm, st I, I'm still, I'm, I'm like still giddy. I'm head over heels for that perk. Oh man, that is a good perk. So I'm happy I did that one. Like that, that's a really, really, really good one to get. Um, so I guess it all worked out in the end. Having a four star white hole, um, like as my first one was also pretty good for getting into planets after that. What game are we talking about? Which okay, five minutes ago, I turned off the screen because I'm an idiot. Should we go back to Eric? I feel like it's an awful game if you realize how much you can micromanage, which is why I couldn't get into it after my first few runs. Maybe I should try it again without touching it often. Yeah, I maybe sending an alarm. Here's what I do. Um, I, I whenever I sit down to, to check how Evolve is doing, I set an alarm for 10 minutes to go off. And after my alarm goes off in 10 minutes, I turn my alarm off and I sit there clicking on it for three more hours. So maybe you should try doing something like that, only not fucking up the ending. And then you can um, you can just, uh, you know, have a life while also having this run in the background. 
Is Eric your real name, Joe? It is not, no. The Eric meme comes from, this was a placeholder thing that showed up when Anu sent this to me. Forget best idle games of 2023, what's best active games of 2023? Uh, Hi-Fi Rush. I am a boomer who hates change, so I'm gonna keep playing Cookie Clicker, but Cookie Clicker doesn't have any legs. If you know what you're doing, you can exhaust all of Cookie Clicker in about a week, can't you? Like, Cookie Clicker doesn't have a, a very long end game. I remember Cookie Clicker having like a, a fucking dungeon and now it's gone. Hell no, you can't. You can. You absolutely can. It has a huge end game. What's the end game in Cookie Clicker? It's been updated. I recently went through the whole thing with Finn. Is is there like something I missed? Can you create an evolve idle thread on Jads? <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? One second. Uh, I do plus right. Create thread. Evolve idle. All right. This this is not a super super popular game. I don't think like the like the subreddit for it is kind of dead So I wonder if like this could be like an influx of people playing the game The guys could be like wait what what's going on? What is cookie clicker about? I thought you clicked on cookies and that's it. No, it, it, it goes somewhere else What's the end game of cookie clicker? Isn't it just getting um Isn't the end game of cookie clicker just getting sugar lumps from for your garden? um and Getting heavenly chip prestige and that's it like I looked at the achievement list that I hadn't that we hadn't got with Finn and we got pretty much everything. No? What do you mean no? Getting every achievement I think yeah, I think we're like short only like most of the really hard achievements where you have to get like dragon harvest um blessing combos and selling all your stuff with the with the with the temple guy that makes it so you get a click bonus so when you sell your stuff to just like make couple years worth of, of cookies per second in in the minute that you just spam click you know that that's it right you filled up the ascension tree we got almost all of them but it was it was slowing down to the point where we needed like trillion trillions upon trillions of heavenly chips to get the last round of upgrades and that's where i stopped pretty much everything in a week that's not impossible in a year. what do you mean if there's like 10 last like like incremental upgrades that just boost the amount of cookies you're getting per second to an arbitrary achievement then i'm i'm saying that's pretty much done there's no new big things to unlock there are three mini games in cookie clicker i think there are four aren't they there's the garden the stock market the temple and um the wizard magic thing although i wouldn't count those as mini games i would say the stock market and the garden are the only two mini games i didn't play the right version you did stock exchange in a week okay listen Maybe, maybe I'm not being clear, or maybe I'm just not communicating properly, or maybe I'm just like wrong with my definitions. Maybe that's that's the the right one. Okay, if there's like a couple, if there's like a handful of achievements left that need an insane amount of grinding for like a crumb of an achievement reward, or just two or three achievements, to me, like grinding that over and over and over again, like. I don't need to do that. I'm done. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I don't. I don't care. The the real one that that really like um made me want to quit was that I finally got the the juicy queen beet that after days of of letting it grow you harvest it for a sugar lump and I harvested it all excited thinking I would get to plant these and then it's like lama yo you got the seed but you can't plant it you can only get these from mutations and then I was like all right I'm done cuz the amount of the amount of sugar lumps you need for to get that shit just like like no thank you you know so I feel like Anything that requires an insane amount of sugar lumps. Like, I've seen, like, there's no other big round of complexity, right? There's no new unlocks. There's no no new systems that, that you get, right? Like, we're pretty much done. Did you play Steam or Browser? Uh, Browser. Does Steam gets more than, than Browser? We had the 20 buildings in it. Like, it had it had the uh, the new update. Are you still playing Variant Sudoku? Yes, but not as much as I was before. How much did it took you to go from 15 to 99 super colliders on four star? It took it took a few days. I think that that run doing doing galactic landfill up to 12, um, doing the first uh, third reset option, uh, 99 super colliders it on on four star. It it took a while. I had 60. 2% mastery, 62-65% mastery in the standard universe. Um, I set it up that I used, I was Ents that did fanaticism on, fanaticism on a human. Um, and then in space, I just did the study ancients instead of taking the other perk. Um, and that was all my bonuses. Uh, I had all the, the low level CRISPR upgrades unlocked, so, but that doesn't really matter. They don't, they don't really add much. I had religion unlocked with the priests that dumped them in there. And it took, it took a while. Um, I think it took about four or five days in order to do it all, which I know is, is, is actually pretty fast considering how early I was, I was doing that in my progression run. But yeah, I think like four or five days.
They added a new building. You, yeah, we we played with that one. Yeah, we, we did that. We stopped playing Cookie Cooker like a week and a half ago. You can open the stream already. Countdown. So, oh, did it? All right, cool. All right, good, 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 good. Dude, let's uh, turn off the Zoro tunes. Thank you, Kusoro. If you didn't know, uh, almost all the music that we use the Star streams was made by Kusoro on Jads. Not always, but most of the time. Why is Eric? Okay, Eric. We were doing Wheel of Names. We were using this this uh, this website once to decide something, and the placeholder had a bunch of names on it, and Eric was one of them. So I spanned the wheel right at the beginning, and Eric won and became a legend. That's it. I'm amazed you got that that far that fast in it. It well, I had child labor helping me. <laughs> <laughs> While I was streaming, Finn was clicking. <laughs> Kate and Leo are still playing it on Lily's computer. They love clicking on the reindeers and everything. <laughs> All right, special events. Uh, the Game Awards. Here we go. All right. I basically had an auto clicker. All right, so full screen. Um, notify track changes in theater mode. Now let's turn that off. Advanced, low latency, mini player, video stats, add stats, uh, quality, let's go 720p, that's fine, we don't want to push it too hard, closed caption options, that's fine, pop-up player, alright, let's turn the sound up. Thank you, Titties McSwagger, babe wake up, new new fetish uh, names just dropped, thank you Titties McSwagger for, for the resub. Pre-show predictions, I, I wasn't even going to stream this, I have no idea what this even is, is, is this just like game announcements and stuff? I have no idea, I hope it's fun, I have no predictions whatsoever. Elden Ring DLC. We're gonna see some gameplay. Silk Song. Silk, here we go, Silk Song. How's the Evolve Idol Thread going? Oh, the sludge. Oh, the sludge. Don't worry about that for now, smiley face. By the way, you get more plasmids, uh, the more challenge genes you have on. So even just doing one on increases the amount of plasmids you get for every set, so it's definitely worth it. I'm moldling, I'm moldling. Why does this go sorry? It's pretty good, right? Will you end the stream early if they reveal that Silk Song has already been stealth released during the presentation? We, that will be what we do for the rest of the night. I'm not kidding. I'll probably just stream that for like 10 hours after we're done with, with chat minimized and my microphone off. Nah, I wouldn't do it with the microphone off. Any predictions? Uh, Elden Ring DLC trailer and nothing else. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, we're seven minutes. I'm going to go pee real quick before we go. Would you even need chat minimized? It's not like we could spoil it for you. Hey, you don't know the power of chat. Someone in chat has always played the game, no matter what. Sometimes, sometimes the devs show up. The dev would show up and be like, oh, hey, you should go hit that wall, smiley face. Oh, 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 oh he doesn't know. Oh, 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 oh. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> my, uh, my son just asked me if I am good enough at math to be an astronaut. And I told him yes, like a liar. Hope you had a nice pee. I did, yep. Music is loud, is it? Not really. Did he ask that spontaneously? No, he's he's doing some math. Have you seen Pal World? I have not seen Pal World. What's Pal World? Will you ever do more than one Umineko stream? Uh when we do the um whenever it's a it's a leap day, we're gonna stream Umineko. So yeah, probably. Are you inter interested in the system shock remake? Yes. I don't know if when I'm gonna have time to play it though, but yes. And I don't know if I wanna stream it. I think soon we'll stream Amnesia the Bunker though. Do you know what the next batch of games you will possibly be streaming are? Amnesia the Bunker. Uh, we'll probably get Metal Gear done if I can get it set up, but if not, I'm gonna wait. If it's way too hard to get it going, then I will wait. I can't even answer my DMs, so like, you know, bear with me. <sighs> if you could recommend only one of the books you wrote, which would which one would it be? Oh man, I don't know. That's a tough one. Wizard and the Dragon is a, is a complete standalone story, but it's one of the earliest ones I, I I wrote. And if you don't like fantasy, then I don't know. Uh, it's probably that one though, because the rest of them start a little bit rough too. Yeah, probably that. Would you describe your books as raunchy? No, I think there's only like maybe two sex scenes in all of the all of my work that's on Amazon, and they're pretty brief. Like they, they have, there's a point to them. It's not just, hey, I wanted to write a sex scene. Do your fantasy books follow the convention of describing every stone on the road for a craft? They don't. They they explicitly do the opposite. Are you a Diablo 4 kind of guy? I'm not, no. I'd like to be, but I just can't get it together. Have you ever done an AI dungeon stream? No, I have not. That sounds like a Northern Lion thing. How well do you still remember the books that you did write? It has been a while. Well, let me put it this way. I forgot one of the other standalone titles just now when I was about to suggest something. So I just decided to just go with Wizard of the Dragon instead. <laughs> so that says a lot, okay? Like, I think I still remember the plot, but uh, but like, like placing all the titles and everything. 
Fallen programming contain content that is that some viewers may find of offensive. Is that what it said? All right. I actually read The Wizard and Dragon a while back and I enjoyed it. I generally don't like books that much. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for letting me know. I think it's a pretty good story. Hey, I, I could probably do it much better now, but yeah, I'm still happy with it. And our singular goal today is to get you excited about the future. Yeah! In just a few minutes, we'll see the first extended gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1. Whoa! Wait, that game came out a long time ago. What are you talking about? It delivers, I don't, don't I, worry. I don't need to see that. Alan I played that. Two, what? The reveal of Fortnite's next season. And yes, we Silk do song. have a very special grand finale that you're not going to want to miss. Oh, I'll Fast and right Furious now. 2? But let's get right to the games and gameplay. Avatar the first game tie in? Is something you're not expecting, which makes it that much more exciting. Okay. Here we go. Tears of the Kingdom 2. It's coming out right away. Oh, what the hell is it? Prince of Persia 2D? Princess of Persia? All hope rests with us. Oh, nice match cuts there. Cool. All right. This looks like it might be good. I, I'll play this. Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. Ooh! Oh, that's soon. All right, should we turn it up? Should we risk turning it up to, to 1080p? Okay, we did it. That was the finale. See you later. All right. That's right. It's time for Mortal Kombat 1. Really? Couldn't keep you waiting on this one. Okay. And it's coming this September. So what are you Everyone guys all going with your Evolve Idol? What does it look like? Who's on the roster? How do the new cameo fighters Struggling work? with science storage. Well, Anything you push through it? it? Time Make sure you're combat. capping out no your universities spoilers. and libraries. This it might be a while, yeah. literally insane. Does it have a social link mode, though? That looks pretty good, actually. Damn! Yeah. Mortal Kombat! All right. So my impression from from the sidelines right now is that fighting game fans have been eating good for the past year or three. Fighting games in kind of a renaissance right now, or no? Nathan Drake is super powerful. This looks pretty good, Chad. I can't lie. I don't like these kind of games, so I gotta say, it, like it looks good. Oh, plot if hole. Become... Or do you secretly covet my throne? Oh, it's Gollum! Haley, would you dress like one of them? <laughs> Alright, thank you. I barely glanced at them, so I'm going to my degree. <laughs> oh, he's not going to be in Mortal Kombat 2. Wait, how are they, like, taking all this damage and then keep on trucking on? Oh, oh, damn. All right. Maybe too far? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. It's in our blood. Okay. Pre-order now to get Shang. Oh, oh, I didn't even have time to read it. Damn, I should pre order I mean, that was pretty good, right, guys? Yeah, it was all right. The creator of Mortal Kombat. Ed Hideo Kojima? Oh. Ed, 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 Ed. Ed. One, right? Went from boon well. So tell us about this. this is it a new timeline? <laughs> oh. He created a brand new universe, and this universe. Oh, he ascended in Evolve Vital. Oh, okay, that's good. This is the beginning of a new timeline. I've done that. And so what universe are we in now? Sub Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's there's all these things that were rivalries before are now allies, and so mixing the whole thing up. And so there's there's a lot of that now. But we have a lot of like really surprised ones. I think you you guys saw Goro. Yes, Goro was, was in Yeah, there. yeah Goro, so dude, a lot of, like, kind four of really arms. Digging into the old Mortal Kombat games. I, I can't tell you how many times over the last thirty. Years I can't tell you how many Zoomers are him, saying, "Who the fuck uh, is that right now?" This close, yeah. like four or five times. Coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, right? <laughs> That's right. With this this has been a very <laughs> difficult. Uh, Secret to keep. Yeah. Over the At least, last, like, have a presentation years. on the back and when so, you're talking uh, about it. Come on. We're, Play him yeah, off. Well, Ed, thank Play you so off. much for giving us the first look at MK1. As you said, this weekend people will be playing it, press and media, so we'll be seeing lots more, like, more coverage. More like Jean Claude, who gives a damn. Oh, Burr. Oh, oh, hey, how's it going, Yoshi? Thank you so much. First look at Warner Pops. Ow. Ow. Okay, all right, we're good. Amazing. So excited about that one. All right. Another Is big it? and anticipated ARPG 
is Path of Exile 2 from Grinding Gear Games, who have faithfully been updating and patching the original PoE since uh -huh. released in 2013. Yeah. We haven't seen anything faithfully. on the sequel in over two years, but that changes right now. Oh, right, right, this is for me. All right, I'm strapped in. Everyone shut the fuck up. Path of Exile Wuggy? 2. Wuggy, Wuggy, you here? Wuggy. pushes the engine and gameplay to a new level. Where are the okay, guns? when are they switching to Path of Exile 2? Hey, you! What's going on? Are they trans showing the first game first? Yeah, you can't have animations be that slow. You're dead. You have to keep moving. Wait, were you staying still, cows? You can't stand still in cows in this game. No, you're dead. Somewhere on the floor that you can't see through all the effects of your dead. Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. Path of next style. Here we go. That, that that's that's it? That really? No. It looks amazing and there's more Does coming it? in July. Last week marked the release of Street Whoa. Fighter 6, a game we featured last year what? at Summer Game Fest. Well, the team at Capcom has an important update to share with you right now. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, was it was it just so Street Fighter didn't come out? out uh, sorry, it didn't come right after Mortal Kombat. I am. Wait, what? What's this? Ryu Adventures? Double May Ryu? Is it even Ryu? Oh, it's Ryu. That's Guile or Jean Claude Van Damme. Here he is. Why are they all metal? Exo Primal. So I I don't know what that is. What's that? I'm guessing Ryu from Street Fighter facing off against a dinosaur probably wasn't on your bingo card for today's show. It was actually. That Street Fighter Cross Exo Primal <laughs> collab will launch in the fall with the game coming out on July 14th. But guess what, guys? That may actually not be the craziest collaboration on the show today. Check this out. Okay, what's this? Transforming everything Alan Wake? you may think you know. <gasps> oh, Nicolas Cage! The chatter called it! Dead by Daylight, Nicolas Cage. Oh, okay. That's right. Nicolas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight in As July. the monster? I, mean, I don't know how these things happen, but... I figured the easiest way to find out is probably to go right to the source. Wait, hold on. This man's bold creative choices have earned him an Academy Award. Nicholas Cage is here? And across more than four decades. Hold on. Incredible films. Path of Exile 2 gets five seconds of gameplay and that's it. But Nicholas Cage gets to come out and talk. Okay, hey, oh, it's Nicholas Cage. I love Nicholas Cage. How many Koopas have you killed, Nicholas Cage? Why? Thank you. Happy Who is funding Dead by Daylight? Nick, I gotta say, welcome to the video game world. Oh wow, yeah, thank you. I'm so happy to be invited to your very, very cool club. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I, mean, I gotta say, this is such a, a crazy, unexpected collaboration. I gotta understand how did this come about? I mean, some people be like, oh, maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be money. in Hideo Kojima game. Please but just say money. Dead by Daylight. I mean, how does this happen? Money. Well, it's it's a museum of horror, right? Yes. And Oh, when he's I make played movies, it. One of my favorite genres is horror. And in this and, and in that genre, there's a character, a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game, so that was good enough for me. Okay. That's what, yeah, I mean that's what's fun is you're playing one of the survivors in this game, and it's cool that you know it's it really is this museum of horror, Michael Myers, you said all these different characters all coming together. Um, and you do you you play yourself or who do you play? So I play this uh, heightened exaggerated version of a film actor named Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's going to a location thinking he's making a movie and instead he's he wakes not. up in the fog. And in the fog, he's surrounded by crows and serial killers, and it's rather amusing. And there's something about it that I think, as a survivor, is like a bonding experience. It's a bit like hide and go seek. You have your three other teammates who are survivors with you, and you're, it's teamwork. You're working together to pull through, and I like yeah. that. And oh, so that was a, a large reason for wanting to do it as well, that, that feeling of bonding with your friends. Also and money. And you're fully in for this. I know we heard your voice in there, so you yeah. recorded lines for it and everything? See, I want you to know when you're playing the Nick Cage survivor, I even have when you're choosing your skins, I even say, always remember to dress to match your talent. <laughs> I want you to know that you're with me, that we're one, that we're fused. And so it was important oh, to me that everything I do, everything I say, oh, from the scream to the grunt, down to the most minimal, exasperated expression of uh, a sigh, whatever it is, it's my voice, so that we are fused. All right. 
throwing that to Nick Cage. I love it. Uh, I, Nicholas I mean, Cage needs to be the so next fun. David this Cage game. game. Said, double awesome the cage, kind of, you know, double the fun. So it writes itself. You, I mean, how did you find out about Dead by Daylight? Do you know much about the video game? Somebody world? very important in my family yeah. is a Dead by Daylight enthusiast, okay. and and that really put the uh, <laughs> 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 <pun> intended. Uh, <laughs> uh, see, Dead by Daylight to me was an opportunity to branch out. To I've and never been invited money. into this space before. Yeah. I'm always looking for new adventures. So this to me was like, wow, I can, ma I, make a, I can make a whole new audience, meet a whole new audience and branch out and go on this Dead by Daylight adventure. I, I didn't say, it took me nothing but a split second to say yes. And yeah, speaking about split seconds, that's with what, every job, <clears throat> Nick. Me, what I noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> sinuses, uh, allergies. What I noticed <laughs> was that every move you make when you're doing this, when you're in the gaming space, <laughs> It's, it's timed down to the split second. It's, an, it's a very immersive experience when you're acting out in this space because every move, every grunt, every sigh you make has to be timed perfectly with the gamer's move. So yep. that yeah. was something I learned from this. And I'm always looking true. to learn something. Well, we love having you in the video game world. We want to see Nick Cage in more games. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> right, Nick, thank Heavy you rain, so too. Much. Hopefully the first of many. Nicholas Cage, great to see you, man. Awesome. There you go, lock it in. <laughs> now, for oh, the strut. All of you who want to play Nick Got Cage in Dead by Daylight, the chapter officially comes out on July 25th on PC and console, but PC players can try it earlier by downloading the player test build on July 5th. And here's an exclusive first look at Nicholas Cage in Dead by Daylight. Path of Exile 2, got five seconds. The can, can everyone be Nicolas Cage? I have never not wanted to play Dead by Daylight more. Anything goes here at Summer Game Fest. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Nick. Now, lately we've been seeing an incredible number of video game adaptations. But back in 2019, The Witcher on Netflix inspired Looks better by than The Witcher book series True. showed the potential of well-done adaptations. And later this month, <laughs> Season 3, Volume 1 arrives. And now it's time for the world premiere of the trailer introduced by Henry Cavill and the cast. Thanks for tuning in to the Summer Games Fest. Oh, it's my boy! I love that man. Honestly, how dare they after the recast thing? What the fuck? Connected. He's so hot. It's angering how hot Henry Cavill is, isn't it? Like, God fucking damn it. Feeling like actually doing something that happened in the books this season, huh? Okay, cool. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I think maybe at most two of those scenes look like they happened cute in the books. For monsters. And they're like, no, please don't hurt me. And then, wow. Fangs. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. A but load of fangs. All yeah. up in your business. Weird. Plan starts. Wow, Netflix is really feeling it. What's your four? Vanishing of Ethan Carter, Painkiller, and Bullets. Oh, yeah, this game is still in limbo. Is this ever coming out? Is it coming out now? Surprise release? Witchfire or something? This has been around for a while. It looks kind of slow, actually, but that could be good from from a play perspective. Like, slower shooter could be good. It kind of looks like a VR game being played without VR. Witchfire. Early ac really early access. After all this. Uh oh, Smilegate. I was afraid of this. Crossfire, Sierra Squad. All right. Ashes game. I wanted to try these games. We streamed it once, and uh, it was an okay time. Gunsoul, it is Gunsoul's. NL liked it. Well, if NL liked it. Wait, why are there. What? Why is there like a drone from the Matrix? Why are there pods from the Matrix? Why is the sky blackened like the Matrix? Is this in the Matrix? You scored a drop. Claim now or go to inventory. What do you mean I scored a drop? I'm the streamer! It's my chat. You have drops on. Right, I don't know. Summer game fest to react to the news. I will I lose my nappy if Silk Song gets something. Live on TikTok, Twitch, lose YouTube, my nappy. And other platforms. For those of you on Twitch, we also have a special Warframe Twitch drop, a free Steinax Warframe for watching more than 30 minutes of the show. Now, oh, that's why I just got. I guess. Surprises, why did it come in my chat though? Another legendary gaming hero is set to return later oh, this year. There's a lot of people here. Holy shit. Game built from the ground up in a style that I think is going to get this fan base and longtime fans of video games very excited. Here's right. another Summer Game Fest uh, global game announcement. Halo? It thrills with a classic feel. Oh, Halo? 
Oh. Uh, okay. You see that that like one of the Sonic creators like is is like got like indicted for something and is going to jail and I was like yeah he deserves it and then it was for like investment or whatever I was like oh yeah I guess he deserves that too. <laughs> This does not look good. Wow, putting the friends right in the first trailer. My kids have still not played a Sonic game yet. I'm very happy about this. Can you just ascend? Oh, it's Robotnik. Nick. Nicholas. Robotnik Nicholas Cage. Bring him back out again. Who the hell's that? I don't remember Wolfman. Who's that? How about that? A new well, congratulations, for furries. Classic Sonic that's bound to appeal to new and legacy fans alike. This past April, Honkai Star Rail launched. Yeah! And as you're about to see, the game is bringing an exciting new character to Space Fantasy. All right, RPGs. everyone shot. This However, is for me. We don't just have a new peak for current players, but also for those awaiting the game's release on PlayStation. Take a look. Ugh. Don't you get bored running across the map every day? Yeah, I agree, actually. On, a bit on the nose the for a game that just released. Her name is Mark 7. <laughs> this game, unironically, is like Disco Elysium. Oh. Unironically, not kidding, not memeing, not joking. Who the hell is that? Joe, explain. I won't. You have to play it. Actually, you know what? That's mean because you shouldn't play it. Can cyborgs consent? Let's not do the can your phone apps consent the sex conversation again, okay? Merrick wants me to stream this so bad. I don't know why. So bad, Merrick wants me to stream this. There are story parts in the game that are very much like Disco Elysium. I'm not kidding. Pinocchio, Lies of P is a Soulsborne like game. What? The team at NeoWiz, which is coming to Game Pass, PlayStation, and PC this year. Well, if you're wondering exactly when, we have news to share with you on its release with this brand new trailer. Weeb Disco Elysium? Yes. Yes, exactly. So, what's this? I, I heard Soulsborne. Oh, man, this looks like Bloodborne. I see Gothic City, I say Bloodborne. Alright. Can I see the combat? This looks okay so far. Near Automata meets Bloodborne. It's an accordion game, but I'm okay with that. Damn. Alright. Getting more interested as time goes by. Eh. Uh, okay, bring it back. I would like to see some combat, please. Okay. Some real combat. Not a special move. Real combat. Lies of. Listen, pal. Nice landing, but uh, let's not make it a habit. Lies of P. Lies of P. Marvel shit. What? Okay. No gameplay, no hype. No gameplay, no hype. That's right, a demo for Lies of P is now available across PlayStation, Xbox, Didn't and PC. Didn't show some Check it out fucking gameplay! On September 19th. Why? Now it's time for the reveal of a visually stunning new game based on a classic manga with a story and world created by one of the most celebrated anime artists of all time. This is one of those games that I feel lucky we get to reveal for the first time here at Summer Game oh, Fest. Oh, but all the rest of them, be pretty you know, who gives a shit? You see the gameplay, all built in Unreal Engine 5. Here we go. Ooh, F11? If this is your first game show on Twitch, by the way, watching someone, it's tradition to be snarky and salty the whole time. Some of this stuff has looked pretty good. Fallout? Okay, this looks decent. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, god damn it. Dragon, Dragon Quest. Dragon Ball. Your factories can make sheet metal. Now, your factories can't make sheet metal. They can just boost the, the, the bonus that, that um, your crafters can get. I would be devastated if this is a good game. Oh, you can build mechs and they break after you walk for 10 seconds in any direction. Sandland, they need to remake them again. Okay, that actually looks like it might be fun. I don't know. I would be cautiously interested. ready to become an unlikely hero in an adventure where you don't need to be human to save humanity. Uh, that's coming from Bandai Namco and we're excited to see more of it soon. Independent games are such an important part of the industry and one thing that's very important to us at Summer Game Fest is supporting those creators as well. After the live sh show, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from I'm 8-Bit and Double Fine with some incredible indie game reveals. Now, one of the biggest independent oh, publishers is so Annapurna Interactive. And later this month, as part of Summer Game Fest, they'll be revealing a number of ambitious new projects. Let's see how many you can figure out in this little tease. Oh, Stray 3. Wait, what? 
What? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Nailed it. Is it like the Anna Purna Purna cinematic universe? I wonder what that was at the end. We'll find out later this month. All right. The battle across land, sea, and air. Here's a look at Throne of Liberty. The world. When Amazon announces an MMO, is it already been canceled? I'm so cynical about MMOs. Like this, this looks like it could be fun, but I just know it's going to be dog shit. Maybe it's just a cursed genre now. Claim the throne with millions of other people. Nah, there won't be that many. That looks pretty cool. Throne liberty. Oh, th 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 <laughs> throne and liberty. Okay. Looks great. I also want to say hello to everybody watching on Steam right now. I'm sorry we don't have any free Steam decks for you right now. Aww. But on June 19th, Steam Next Fest does Christopher Judge ruined it forever. Try out. Yo, what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Nothing. I'm not a big breakfast enjoyer. Is this... Looks like it could be fun? I don't know. I don't think this music was a good choice. Big League of Legends cinematic vibes? This sounds like you don't want to fight, but you're just stuck fighting. Okay, you know what I'm in. Oh, they get Crusader Guy. Warhaven. Is this like Fantasy Warframe? Okay. I mean... Hey, this is not... Why can't I... Oh, it's XQC. Are you in this? I am in this, yep, yep. I was quiet the whole time, though. Was it Dying Light 2? Right that will kick off an even season was like good? I have never seen before. Did Trust he have to me, stay, for did he have to say stay human afterwards? Barb Wyatt. Okay. Crash Team Rumble. Yeah, I guess it could be fun. I don't know. Never played Psychonauts. We should play Psychonauts 1 and 2. Oh man, did I just see Dying Light 2 stay human on the screen? I think that might have been Dying Light 2 stay human. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Isn't that great, by the way? Crash Team Rumble is going to feature playable Ripper Roo and Engine, Neo Cortex's right hand guy I in have season one. No idea now, who they are. It's time to change the topic and descend into madness. Okay. Joining me is a guy who was last on stage at the Game Awards 2021 to announce Alan Wake 2. Now I know how chat feels when I talk about Paul Idol. All the way from Finland, please welcome from Remedy, Sam Lake. Yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's Max Payne! Anal Wake. Thank you so much for putting that in my head, Chatter. Thank you so much. Gets to switch between them at given points in the in the story as they choose. Yeah, we saw obviously uh, at the PlayStation event you revealed uh, Saga, Alan. the second character. Uh, tell us a bit about her. She's in Bright Falls, and she's sort of living a, a narrative that Alan has written. Is that right? Well. Uh, that's a good Spoilers. question to ask okay, going okay. into this. <laughs> oh, you got, so, yes, you're going to have to play to find out. Oh, who knows? Character, of course, trying to escape from the nightmare dimension yes. of the dark place. Yes. And then we have Saga, our yes. new hero, FBI agent, uh, coming to the Pacific Northwest small town of Bright Falls together with her partner, yes. Alex Casey. It's a sequel, but it's also a standalone experience. We are not expecting everybody to do homework Phew. if they have not played the original game. Yeah. I'll do it though. Uh, this can be enjoyed. And I'll complain about uh, it the whole time. The saga doesn't know anything about the lore, about the supernatural uh, in this world. She will be going in very quickly. She has to learn to survive. And with that, all the players uh, will be on, on that journey with, with her. And you are free to switch between them. Ah. There are a lot of connection points. Yes. Uh, in oh, many that sounds interesting ways, actually. Okay. But there is no like right way to play through this. You can choose. You, you can go on as as Alan all the way close to the end, Alan. or a saga, or you can keep hopping between these two uh, wow. types of Oh, uh, never mind. I misunderstood that. OK, never mind. Challenging I'll take it back. interesting narratives in unique ways. I mean, Remedy's always been known for that, and you especially. So we can't wait to see how these stories intertwine, I'm sure, throughout the experience. Today, though, Can we see I know you game? brought with you some some gameplay of oh, Sonic yeah. Adventure. We're just going to see a, a raw segment of the game, right? Yeah, raw gameplay for the first time ever. This is early on from the experience. <laughs> They're hyped, uh, Sam. They're yeah, ready flashlight. For Here we go. But tell us, what, what are we going to see? What, what, uh, why don't we just see it? Supernatural forces of darkness have uh, brought the murder victim uh, in this case, back to life as a monster. And, and uh, Saga is outside Pride Falls, 
at Cauldron Lake, trying to find him and stop Just him. Just show it! Okay, with that, let's take a look at raw, unedited gameplay from Alan Wake 2. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. I know what's going to happen now. This, the, one of their culprits is going to come back to Supernova. That could have been a fun surprise. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's no Resident Evil 4 remake, but it looks pretty good. The player just stopped to say thank you to somebody. Oh, Sounds no. Sounds like somebody's home. <laughs> Maybe they're out. Look at that placeholder UI. What do you mean? That's the real UI. Didn't you play control? Oh, oh, it's a monster. Gunshot sounds pretty good. Uh-oh. And then it's gonna come back to life as a supernatural monster, right? Right? You just caught the culprit. And now they come back to life, right? But that's what's supposed to happen. How do you get in here? How How do you get in here? The text on the heart is tattooed heart. That looks cool. I like that. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Oh. Beat is gonna beat. No, it's not. Okay, Alan Wake 2. All right. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. Yeah, we'll play this. Lock it in. We'll play this. Whatever. Let's give it. Let's give it a shot. We'll play this. A long time coming, but Alan Wake 2 looks incredible. Thank you to Sam and Remedy for that first look at gameplay. Now let's get a first look at the co-op campaign of Warhammer Space Marine 2 from Saber and Focus. For the Emperor. We're facing a Tetanid splinter fleet. Oh no. Engage the sun. Join the Galactic War. Oh damn, that looks good. You know Space Marines have to paint their own armor? This that does look good. No, it doesn't. Really? You don't think it looks good? I think it looks really good. Visually, I'm talking about the visual, I don't know about the gameplay. The gameplay looks like it might be fun, but it's hard to judge. Open the gates. For Ultramar! For the Emperor! For the Emperor! This winter. Ooh! Oh man. Or play that too, lock it in! Lock it in! I, I'm kidding. Don't lock it in. Don't lock it in. Life is Strange 4? Just like a kingdom simulator? These games always... These kind of games always seem that they're very appealing to me, but then I look at what you actually do, and I'm like, eh. I wonder what kind of uh, gameplay I would need to go along with that kind of concept to like it. Snowfall. Now it is time for another global game announcement, and this one comes from the minds of Saber Interactive Focus Entertainment. And yes, horror master John Carpenter. It's a brand new world, Who? a brand new story, and looks like a heck of a lot of fun. Check this out. A heck of a lot of fun. It's a horror game. It's a heck of a lot of fun. Chris Redfield? Nobody Back for blood? Ugh. This looks like Five, another team-based shooter. Four. That's a lot of zombies. Toxic Commando. Okay. More unexpected collaboration. Sean Carpenter and uh, Saber with Toxic Commando. That looks uh, tons of fun. You guys think any of those zombies made it? All right. Well, this August brings the long-awaited full <laughs> 1.0 release of Baldur's Gate 3. And today, oh, a yeah. new member is joining the cast. We're about to see the reveal of Lord Emver Gortash, the commander of a mechanical army of steel. Is there any links He's back to Baldur's Gate 2? And is voiced by a familiar name. Or is it just like a sequel all in name? Yes, kinda. Remember Baldur's Gate 2, you never go to Baldur's Gate. Oh, it's Jason, Jason Isaac! So, okay. A man dog understands the. I want to lead this city to glory. Okay, Not that doesn't look like it's synced right, and it doesn't look like the voice Friends, matches the guy at all. Oh, he's a bad guy! Gortash. Oh no! Alright, I don't know who that is. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh no! Baldur's <laughs> Gate 3 is on tracks, Fen tells me, still for the end of August, and we can't wait to check that out. All right, 
This fall, Marvel Games and Insomniac are set to bring Spider-Man 2 exclusively to PlayStation 5. Woo! Sounds like you guys are a little hyped. So to tell us more is Brian Intahar, game director at hey, Insomniac. Everyone. Brian? Okay. Spider-Man 2 is good. Uh, we'll stream is. Yakuza the 0. Villains, I think, in the game. That we're, yeah. There may be more. There are more. There are more out there. There are more. There are more. There are more. There are more. Quick, quick, appease the fans of, uh, quickly. There's more than two. We got the reveal Jeff, what are you the, doing? Uh, PlayStation events at play. Oh. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, man, they love some Good reaction to the art. What the hell? Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're happy. I'm I don't know how much you're going to tell us about Venom. Is this, uh, it, can you tell, is this is an Osborne Venom? Can you tell, what's the origin of uh, Eddie Brock Venom? Or It is not Eddie Brock. Okay. It is not, it is not Eddie Brock. Okay. Whoa, um, wait. Was what? An original it's story, not. Something you haven't seen. Oh, the man. Movies yet. Obviously, Holy uh, shit. Love Venom for a reason. What does that, that even mean? All those things you love about the character oh, are going to be there. Oh, oh, damn. How the story plays out. Who is Venom? You have to play the game to see how it Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to play the game. Okay. That's there's a bit of. Oh, they got now. me. Obviously, the the Peter's moves in that in that in that gameplay reveal. Yeah. You know, he's you know we call him the acrobatic improviser, him and Miles, but you can tell there's a lot more strength, a lot more raw power, aggression, which you saw both in the moves and how Peter talks. So yeah. it's not just what happens in gameplay; it's what happens how the story plays out. Interesting. So how it affects him as well. Yeah. I mean, you story. saw some of that, and yeah. there's much more of that journey when you play the game. And I know the the journey is also more looks expensive. Like dog shit. It You've doesn't look like dog Brooklyn, shit. So this doesn't look like something I would yeah, enjoy I mean, very much, but it doesn't look like dog shit. So it's hugely ambitious. Okay, that kind of looked like dog shit. That looked like had no uh, momentum whatsoever. Years. We saw at the um, at the PlayStation event. Uh, it said at the end fall 2023, and I yep. think you know we're like getting close to that. Are you guys feeling confident that you're gonna make it this fall? No. You know, Jeff, I know you like exclusives. Yes. And I can promise you, we are very confident what we're going to tell you right now. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's, got off, he's got off script. And then it's a delay. <laughs> we are very confident about this delay. Be greater. Together. together. Whoa! 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 Holy shit! Spider-Man That's almost Space Memorial Day. Got it. Holy awesome. shit! Well, Brian, thanks so much for Thank stopping you by. I know you got a lot of work to do. Wrapping up the game, and we'll check it out in October. Thanks, yeah! Brian. We got our date. All right. Now let's take a look at Power World, a multiplayer open world survival crafting game what? where you can befriend and collect mysterious creatures called POW who can uh, also fight. In other words, uh, kind of like Pokemon with guns. <laughs> and then. Then we're going to look at The Land of the Morning Light, a new expansion to Black Desert Online, which recreates the mythical folktales I from really Korea's need to pee. Joseon Dynasty and some huge bosses, too. Why do I drink so much water before these streams? Pocket Pair. Is this the shovelware game or is this a different one? Pal World. No, it wasn't called Pal World. There was another one like this that got, kind of got kind of dark with all the guns and everything. Or maybe it was this. And it showed like Pokemon in factories and stuff. That, that is literally a Pokemon, isn't it? Or maybe it is this. Yeah, it was this. Okay, great. All right. See what happens, Game, game Freak? You see what happens when you don't innovate your series? Do you see what we get? For the love of God, Game Freak, please save us from this reality. That's that's literally the, 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 the Rule 34 Pokemon that everyone does. What the fuck? That's a Lucario or whatever. A Lugia. What, what? What's this? Oh, it's an MMO expansion. Okay. Land of the Morning Light. Black Desert, available June 14th. Pre-order now. I don't think I will. Our story is more than what hobbits and elves know. Oh, fucking hell. It is time we told it ourselves. <sighs> With oh no, it's a cave troll. Yep. Oh no. Okay, what's the progression system going to be like with building the stuff? Oh, we, we don't get to know. Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. Okay. And that could be fun if it has a good progression system, but who knows. That is a very comically large screen. I can't take anyone seriously with a screen that large. What are you doing? Unless you have, like, the stock market and the, on, the, on the left and the right sides of it, then I will take you seriously. All right, now we're going to look at an exciting new mobile game from a legendary franchise. But why did you know the Pokemon thing? Oh, you, you haven't seen my favorite Twitter screen cap of one of the interactions I had? Damn. Please, please pick. <laughs> please pick. Damn, the reception here. We still don't know something. 
It's, you've only heard one side of the story. Now time for the other. Just down on his luck, can't get cell reception. You don't understand. What the fuck is this? What? Is this a mobile game? What is this? Oh no. Can we pick an art style, please? Can we pick an art style? No? Wait, hold on. Is... Wait, what's... Final Fantasy Bros? Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. Wasn't that the Chaos guy? I don't understand. Pre-registration for Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis has just started and users will have the okay. chance to participate in an upcoming closed beta test. Nice. Now speaking of Final Fantasy. Whoa! No, 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 no. Today during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. Get a, you can get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GameFest. What? Plus get the chance to win a Final what Fantasy is that 16 prize pack. Oh, okay. DoorDash, stay in your game. <laughs> yeah, we got you. All right. Now here's a look at the game we debuted last year at TGA. Did they pay Fantasy extra for Ghosts that? Ghosts of New Eden, the story of two ghost hunters in the haunted wilds of North America. Oh, don't noty. Oh, I remember this. Are we going to see gameplay this time? We end suffering I'm a banisher. We live. Yes, hug it and it'll go away. Some ghosts just need a hug. Closure. Just give her a hug. I want us back. Oh. Man. I want to live. Okay, kind of hard to judge. Could be okay. Yeah, this is a cuff game for sure. You're right, chat. Red. Yeah. Yeah, there's the cuff. Yeah. So <gasps> Jaro! Uh, this is huge. Uh, Yakuza spoilers, but is it? I don't understand what's going on. I can't be spoiled if I don't understand it. What spoilers? At some point, Kiru d goes to space? Oh, I'm sorry. I kind of guessed that already, to be honest. After the Oh, never mind. What the. <laughs> Who are you? Jaro! Oh. Like a dragon. Gaiden, the man who erased his name. <laughs> what was that long ass good name morning, about Stanley. eating cucumbers? Okay, that could be good, maybe. I don't know. Sad father game for sure, it's yeah. A beautiful new game under the waves, and today, incidentally, is World Ocean Day. Fun fact. All right, next. Is it? Call of Duty. Yeah, this is a good time to take a break. Bear back. I, I don't know how long the, the, the show is, and I don't care about this, so bear back. And here it is. The Porsche Xbox Series X. These custom consoles are not for sale, but you can enter for a chance to win one right now at PorscheXboxSweepstakes.com. Make sure to stay tuned for the Porsche and Xbox. All right, I'm back with Silk Song announced. Oh, this looks cute. What's this? Fake Farm. We promise variety. There it is. Fake Farm and Mortal Kombat in the same show, only at Summer Game Fest. Now, please welcome Ben Brode, Putting Chief the Development Officer fatality. and Flannel Enthusiast at Second Dinner, the developers behind the popular collectible card game, Marvel Snap. What's up, Ben? Oh, ben Brode. Bro, 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 bro. Man, you guys have been on fire. Last time I saw you was at the Game Awards. Oh, he's got the flannel won, on. Uh, best nice. mobile game. Uh, seems like you've been very busy. We're excited about the Spider-Verse content you've been doing. Lots going on over there, right? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been exciting. We've been doing a bunch of new features, some of the wildest cards we've ever made, and... Uh, <clears throat> Some new game modes, yeah. Yeah, new game. Is that is that a segue? Ben Brode is really good Certainly, at being yeah, enthusi I'm, I'm enthusiastic. Huh? To announce Marvel Snap's biggest is Marvel update Snap good? ever. Uh, we have a new game mode coming next week. It's Conquest mode. It's a great way to get a super front competitive experience uh, and some exciting nice new chat. rewards. Nice. But you don't have to wait till next week. If you haven't tried Marvel Snap, go download it right now on your mobile device or early access on Steam. All right, Ben. I, I love the enthusiasm, Ben. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> You're made for YouTube. All right. Well, we heard you brought uh, something fun uh, with you for us to watch, right? Oh, oh did I? Yeah. yeah. So oh, shit. listen, I am incredible at card games, so I often win. Uh, but some people, and maybe you've had this experience, Jeff, uh, some people lose. Yeah. Okay. Fair. And I like to think it's because they suck. No offense, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> but sometimes, yes. sometimes it's because they might just be a little bit unlucky. Cue the tape. <laughs> oh, snap. 
Okay, I don't have an ideal hand of cards here, but really? that's fine. I'll see what I draw in future turns. Really? Anyway, let's reveal the first location. Lamuntus 1. Each player destroys their deck. Okay, I guess <laughs> I will work with what I have. I'll play Medusa on location number two. She gets plus two power. He's doing the cow bit! Location. <laughs> Clover Danger <laughs> has a 25% chance of destroying your it's cow. It's still okay, well, the I mean, cow! 25% isn't that bad. bad. And it's okay. Well, I have some powerful cards in my hand, so I can just wait. Let's see the next location. The big ball. The big Players <laughs> cannot play four, five, or six cost cows. <laughs> Also, if you don't play a card this turn, you have zero friends. Oh, no. Medusa. <laughs> Wait. Still to come, we're going to look what? at Immortals of Avium from EA Originals what? and Ascendant. What was and the, the unlucky World thing then? Look at Chapter 4, Season I thought it was a new Fortnite system or something. It, it, was, now, just an, it was just an ad? Up your gaming this summer, compare top credit I thought it was like, hey, if you lose so much, you get free shit. Like, what What was that? Rewards on everything from Wi-Fi this was it. Now, here's a look at King Arthur Legends Rise, a new cross-platform UE5 game for mobile and well, PC. Well, I hope our boy got paid for that, because damn. Adventure that is available to pre-register today. Man, I wish I was skit funny instead of improv funny. That's where the money is. God damn it. Arthur? You're fun. I'm hilarious. What, what, what is this? <laughs> Actual gameplay footage, my god. Is this a gotcha? King Arthur, Legends Rise. Okay. It, yeah, okay, it's, it, okay. So. They said it was actual Ray gameplay, Finders. but the game doesn't have gameplay. Do you remember the fall? The gloom descended on skylight. Allies it's just like your books, bro. Uh, that, 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 that dunk doesn't even make sense, price. Chatter. What are you trying to do? At least make it make sense. What is this? You are. League of Legends game? They died as heroes. Okay. And returned as Wayfinder. <laughs> What? Become a founder, get early access. I think there are enough multiplayer games. I think we're good. I think we need to put a freeze on multiplayer games. Unreal editor for Fortnite. That was Fortnite? What the fuck? <laughs> a turn based for oh, it's base. Conquer the galaxy in about an hour. Oh, that's kind of a cool concept. A very fast 4X game. Stellaris Nexus. What did you say, guys? Oh. oh okay. Oh, is it multiplayer only? I feel like we're in the final part of the show where they just dump a bunch of trailers and then the one more thing happens. What do you think? Space trash scavenger. That might be fun. You know how Star Wars needs to get away from the fucking, like, Skywalker? Star Trek needs to get away from the fucking Enterprise. You know that? Like, enough. Who gives a shit? We need a new threat that's not the Borg. It's the Dorg. Star Trek Infinite. That's a gotcha game. Full Inter reveal on Game Picard Day. What's Picard Day? There's a Picard Day? Yeah, right? Right. Um, my buddy Anthony Mackie and I have been uh, working on this for some time now. We're really excited to share with you Twisted Metal, which is streaming only on Peacock starting July 27th. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh man, these are good graphics. Swung a little wide there. Sounds like you have trust issues. Wait, are they friends now? Whoa, 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 what is this? Cause he said it's the same mother's name? What what the what the fuck is this? Receive my light. How come there's never like, hey, look at the video game at the Oscars or the movie uh, like like reveals or whatever? How come it's always games that have to have the other shit? Hey, here's a game. Like it looks like a, a lizard from, from Breath of the Wild. Okay, this could be good. Combine with yourself. Oh, oh, this is neat. Okay, this is kind of a cool concept. All right, if it plays well, this could be fine. Oh, this could be fun. I like this. All right, if they pulled that off well, that could be really cool. All right. Very cool independent game. All right, next up is a brand new. We are cultured, believe me. Ascendant Studios, a single-player first-person magic shooter called Immortals of Avium. Is this supposed to be so slow? Yeah, the the first one you do in Evolve Idol can be a bit slow. Yeah. Just make sure you're capping out your universities and banks, especially. Sometimes it's hard to to remember to do those. Although, if you're playing a race that needs farmers, you might need to drop some of your bankers for farmers at certain break points. I hate it when they bring out the guy before they show the game because. I don't know if I should give a shit about this. Um, I want to see the game wild. first. Let's take a look. All right, yeah, let's, let's take a look. At thank you. Okay, yeah. Gameplay. This does look like Forspoken, doesn't it? North 
by northeast. Is it a cuff we'll game? Catch him, so. Oh, we get some gameplay. Oh man, get to the control to <laughs> that looks terrible. What is that? <laughs> that has to go. That looks so bad. Spy Kids. It does look like Spy Kids. Oh my God, you're right. That looks so fucking terrible. Okay, I'm not feeling this from the visuals, but it might be fun to play. That looked kind of slow and awkward. Did he just reload his cuff? Wow, that, uh... Man, this looks like an Xbox game. Like, like, like the first Xbox. What is going on? Alright, I don't like this chat. I get, it could be fun to play, but visually, I... Uh, keep it straight. This wasn't the last thing, was it, Jeff? Okay, not feeling this at all, but it could be fun. Love that we get to show you guys so much amazing raw gameplay today, and that game looks incredible. Coming out this summer from Ascendant and EA. Oh, God. Now, one game that constantly reinvents itself is Fortnite. And tomorrow, Chapter 4, Season 3, Wilds launches. And today, Summer Game Fest is debuting the cinematic trailer to preview the season. The center of the island has collapsed, revealing a vast hidden jungle with ancient secrets to discover. Fortnite, course, your map collapsed. A new Battle Pass lineup where you can unleash the power... Yes, of Cybertron. Here we go. Whoa! Wait, there were trees down there? More crossovers. Fortnite Wilds launches tomorrow. Well, finally, guys. Silk Song launches today. It's time to get to our grand finale. Yay! And it is a deep honor for me to present this game. What okay. you're about to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. Tears of the Kingdom? This game comes from a studio that surprised the world and redefined the RPG genre with its iconic characters and rich storytelling. Uh, and I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases. Uh-oh. The rumors were true. Uh-oh. What are the rumors? Persona? We're still here at the scene of this terrible uh, disaster. Right. So no Silk Song Marathon? Wow. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. What, what is this voice acting? Aerith or Tifa, chat. Aerith or Tifa. We ask it every According time. It's tradition. Hojo, they're connected. Oh. Neither. You would be a Yuffie enjoyer, yeah. So is this like the second half, or is this like part two of seven? The Turks latest and greatest. Oh yeah, Elena. the Turks. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. <laughs> Oh, two discs? Oh, whoa, the nostalgia. There you have Holy it. That shit. was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming early Full 2024 circle. to PlayStation 5. Nomura Sun, thank you. Do I have so to have much. two different downloads right. on Steam then? Uh, that's going to do it for Summer Game Fest, our live showcase. But that is not the end. And again, in December, when we come together here in Los Angeles to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. Thanks for watching, it's everyone. It's been 10 See years you soon. already. What the hell? Has it really been 10 years already? You know what? I don't really, like, love all these shows or whatever, but they're a fun time. I'm glad that Jeff does this shit. I, I guess if Jeff didn't do it, someone else would. But I think Jeff does a decent job with this stuff. I think it's a net positive. Thank you for watching Summer Game Fest. All right. That's that. All right. Are you going to play more of all? Do you want me to? Like, why? Like, I, I don't have my safe all down here. Are we also going to do Day of the Devs? I don't think we're going to do Day of the Devs. When is it? Cabins or lodges? You do both. Generally, you want to cap out every single thing that you can build. There are some exceptions and you need to like see what they are depending on how long you're going into the into the the, the tech and everything but in general like especially the early stuff you want to like like more is always better especially when it comes to population when are you going to do your pick on Legito bit for a corporate commercial <laughs> all right so devolver direct is in an hour i don't think devolver like is that is that worth doing man yeah how do I get steel? Do you, the the first 25 steel that you have to get, that you can get before to, to start smelting yourself, has to either be gotten from in, attacking another city and stealing it, <laughs> or um, trading it. So if you have any trade routes open, I always trade it because I don't, I don't really engage with the combat side that much. Uh, if you always have a trade route, um, you have a chance of of, um, of discovering steel, and at that point, you can just buy the first twenty five from from another another uh, civilization. Is this a bit? Is what a bit? Did you pull for silver roll? Uh, silver? I haven't played Honkai in like 
over like 10 days, I think. I I'm done with Star Rail. You can also steal the Tectomy Steel. I think that's only if you're one of the um, the races that can do that, which is like one of the, the fungi races, right? It's usually better than the main event you just watched. Is it? I guess they could have some fun indie stuff. Did you dislike Star Rail? I didn't dislike it. I just didn't see myself playing it for much longer. So I was like, eh, screw it. I can't see it. Those kind of games, they want you to log in every single day and all this other shit. And it's like, eh, I don't, I don't think that's, I can, I can do that for that. I don't want to chore for, for a game that's only going to have content every couple months that's worth going through. Whereas something like Genshin, you can explore. It feels like there's more passive fun stuff to do than, than Star Rail does. Day of the Dez is happening right now. Where is it? On the main stream. Special events. The Game Awards? Is it all on just on Game Awards? Oh. As you rise your way through Will this the become the Devolver one too or no? I'm friends with one NL shit. True! And depending on the Super active pets. And their style, they can form a range you're streaming of Xbox, you regretted not doing it last performing. year. Did I? I don't remember but that. It's not all just friendships and I guess I will then. This game is a bit. Yeah, okay. Not for me, but I hope it does well. In Hyperlight Breaker, Heart Machine's follow-up title in the Hyperlight universe, you'll assume the role of a mercenary with some serious skills. You'll be entering the Is this out? An amazing open or is world the other one out? From lush rolling hills I feel like I'm even getting this labyrinth. game confused with something else. It'll be comprised of both handcrafted and procedural elements, just how I like my levels. Solar Armed Ashes. Oh yeah, Solar, solar Ashes out, right? Spoils of your this could be good, I guess. I don't know. I remember seeing the trailer for this and thinking there was something off about it. If it feels good to me. Yeah, that's so like important to me. Huge the more games I play lately money. and As the less time I have to play game games, vivid, the more vital it is that your game has to feel good just for basic movement. Because if not, I'm going to be miserable. Never Loki, one of the reasons why I don't like Tears of the Kingdom that much, too. You could say just like Link's just so fucking awkward, bud. Each biome in the world. I don't know, man. This kind of the backgrounds kind of feel kind of soulless compared to. Uh, sorry to use a meme to word. Compared to like uh, what I remember Hyperlight Drifter being. Unique. This because it's procedurally generated. Like scattered throughout. It kind of feels like you're on a No Man's like Sky planet, gear, right? Make new builds. Unlock new. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, maybe it's just that area. Bring back. How you going to learn a world-centric story in a procedurally generated world? Uh, it's, it's mixed, I think. Some parts are procedurally generated. Other parts are are just normal. So some parts are bad and some parts are good. And now, in true Day of the Devs fashion, we're traveling halfway around the globe to Transylvania to bring you a game that is not what you expect. The way she started talking there, I thought she was doing a monotone bit, but then she perked up a little bit, and I was like, oh, okay, it was just like an awkward start. And now, I'm excited to present... <laughs> We want you to slow down and savor the present. It's like packing and unpacking. Immersing you in China's world. It's apple picking season. My favorite. Wait, are you a Jedi? How are you grabbing to them? Visual storytelling and mindful inter. Remnant two. Oh, is that is that the game they showed? Where, what's the game? Life life of uh, lies of lies of P. It's like where's the demo? Lies of P. Alright, I would like to, I would like the demo. Should we play the demo and see what it's all about? Demo. Download the demo. Similar to Elden Ring. Doubt? 24 gigabyte? This next game is from Sad Owl Studios and Thunderful Publishing. It's a really unique puzzle game built around a camera mechanic where the photos that you take become 3D worlds to explore. This is Viewfinder. Okay. Hasn't this been done a million times now or is this like, has this game just been in development for so long? You can take photos or find photos and then make them into real 3D spaces. Did right. <laughs> That's pretty Did cool. Yeah, I remember saying this. Did you just shift? Did I just do that? Did I just walk into a photograph? Whoa. So you're telling me that every photograph I take can be a selfie? Whoa. And that's just Oh, I have a trailer open on Steam. I'm sorry. <laughs> That doesn't look right. Flip it upside down. Oh, you can recall. All right, this is pretty cool. Man, how does the it's game like know the, game the alignment you want for it? That must have been a nightmare. Or maybe there's a, there's a simpler way of, of sorting that out than I don't understand. That's cool. Oh, you can destroy the world too. That's, oh, damn. Okay, that's that's uh, really impressive. Hey, you gotta give this presentation credit. They're like actually showing the game and talking about it instead of like having it split up into two 
Oh, how's that gonna work? <laughs> See, Leon was always oh, it doesn't. Games. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm not. I'm not feeling the the character in the game at all, in the voiceover at all. Like that. We received a record number sounds of annoying. For this but maybe it works. Come through that process. Hard to we judge. We have eyes everywhere. I've seen this. The main mechanic in Haunty is that as a ghost, you can haunt things and get access to their abilities. Oh, it's like Mario Odyssey. All right. And there's a big variety of things that you can haunt in this game. You see, oh, I like the art style. Things you can, unlike twin stick shooters, it focuses less on the high intensity moments and more on finding creative ways to use the twin stick paradigm to create fun solutions to the challenges in the game. Okay, so it's boring. Monty follows okay. the story of a ghost in the afterlife, <laughs> and beyond that, it really expands in. Oh man, that looks really good. Sorry, I have to turn the snark circuit off for the for the indie stuff. I forgot. Life. The corporate part's over. I need the to dial down the snark. Let me recalibrate. Crafted with Our next game is a bit of a blast from the past. It arrived on the scene around 12 years ago, quickly became the talk of the town, and won a handful of awards, including the Seamus McNally Grand Prize at GDC's Independent Games Festival. But then, shortly afterwards, both the game and its creator vanished. That game was Cart Life, a slice of life simulation game that put you in the shoes of various street vendors and tasked you with setting up a successful business selling bagels or newspapers. As the story unfolds, you'd soon find yourself making tough choices and trying to balance keeping your business afloat with the needs of your character and their families. But it gives me great pleasure to tell you that, lovingly restored and better than ever, Cart Life is back. What do you mean? Why was, why was it gone? I don't... Oh, I remember this. Why are we being so evasive about this? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. This is weird. I guess it's none of my business, but at the same time, like, I'm watching the trailer. This is kind of really strange. But what they all have in common is that- Okay, I really don't like feathers. the art style, but Melanie I like the idea of the game. So can I get past it? Would I like it? I do not like the art style. I, I like the art style. Which one do you like? And how you prioritize the needs of your cart against the person. I think maybe it's the mixed character. ones that it's that's well, doing it to me. Like it's kind of stories. weird. This really is something very unsettling about this. New story content, new art, um, updated controls and mechanics, and we really look forward to sharing it all with you on PC and console later this year. World premiere. Do, 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 do. Hello. My they pried this out of Jeff's hands. Also known as no, we're going to do the world premiere. Of Phantom. Oh, Hell Skate! I thought it was Hell Skate. Okay, Hell Skate. That makes more All sense. Right, Anton. First try. Here we go. Uh... No! Alright, this could be... Combo. This could All be right. fun. That's it. What is the the era of art style they're going for here? Like what you remember the PlayStation 1 looking like? Instead of what it actually looked like? like this is... I kind of like it, but it's weird. Alright, this could be fun. When you die in a run, thankfully you don't lose everything. Oh. You keep your resources All right, lock it in. which you can use. Wish listening to the game would mean the world to us. Thank you. Yeah, I try that. Using this peculiar power and she looks familiar. Form, is this double fine? This is double fine, right? Was she in one of their their double fine documentaries? So doing, maybe where they like had a bunch of teams questions. make the games? I, she looks familiar to me. Henry, Hathard. welcome. May I introduce you to Henry? Henry's not just anyone. Body is there anything one, two, there? three. Well, everything. Oh, it's an Henry Odyssey like. Form into everything in their reach. Okay. Yes. Of the Fortnite thing? Yeah, the Fortnite thing where they have to make a game in, in two weeks, yeah. I have not played Psychonauts, no. Lock it in! Imagine missing the uh, the award stream and now you don't know the, the genesis of the lock it in meme. Damn. Lock it in! Staying in bed is tempting, but only leads to regret later. Henry knows that if you want to change okay. the world, what, what do you, you have do? To start off by making your own bed. Yeah, that, the true, yeah! Alright, 10 out of 10. Game of the year, make your fucking bed, yep. Oh, is it open world? For hours, Henry could sit there, lifting the seat up and down, pretending it was a singing mouth. Breakfast with a warm beverage is important, and so is keeping up with the news. Untitled half a head game? It's this week. That's all for now. Have a wonderful day. Oh, their kitchen outlets are working. Damn, what's that? What, what is that like? I think I'd rather play Gollum. Our next game is from Yeppy Carlson, 
a creator who's perhaps it's a slice of life game is that why there's a like a sliced head on limbo and inside Alan Wake one playthrough lock it in rhythm action platform lock it in lock it in our game cocoon oh no oh fucking hell oh that looks cool Whoa, you can go in more than one of two directions? Are right, already a big uh, improvement from Limbo and Inside? And each of these worlds are contained within an orb. Okay. Let me demonstrate by jumping out of the world which we are currently exploring. Just Ooh, like that. Ooh, neat. Okay. We are now in a world outside. Can you jump over that one too? All right, that's cool. I'm digging it. The orange orb here contains the world we were previously exploring. Okay. Let's jump out one more time. We are now in a world even further outside. Oh, we it's like that, world that block the game. Orange orb that we picked up. I don't think placing the orb down and going in the world is going to make a difference, though, is it? Patrick Pyroblot, there we go. Orbs what, what are we doing? can be placed doing? on switches to power devices and solve puzzles. Oh, I thought the orb was powering it now. Yep, this looks about the level of inside, yep. Alright, I'm digging this. I would play this, yeah. This looks pretty cool. And then back in Did again. Pass by? Oh, you can see it in like the pool of water around it. In. That's neat. Do you not like finishing inside? I love finishing inside because I don't have to play anymore. Now, Cocoon is not only about exploration and puzzles. Is there combat? Within each world, you have to face a mighty guardian. Joe, is there combat? And this the game doesn't need to have combat, but if there is, I'd like to see it. This, um... Okay. We hope you look forward to exploring the mysterious worlds of Cocoon, releasing later this year on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. A little bit on the fence. That boss didn't look fun, but the moving the orbs around and using them as puzzles and stuff looks decent to me. In this relaxing artistic exploration game, you play a painter with a watercolor brush. Seems to be a big focus on relaxing games. Explore. The devs do come across this today. Merrick, you dial the snark down. We're not in the corporate one anymore. In Ithe, you see the world through the eyes of a painter. With every surface. Chat's gonna get, get mad at us. Just waiting for you to fill it with color. It okay. means I would, I would just hold the button down and just paint everything. French-speaking hometown of Montreal. So it's like, um, it's like Power Wash Simulator, only you're coloring. Power Color Simulator. Okay. Well, color me curious. You'll become able to unleash larger splashes of paint. Oh, that's good. Bigger part of the world at once. Ooh, you get a color bomb. And some of them will even commission artworks from you. That would be sick. Joe, I've been trying Absolute Radiance for the first time, but I'm getting uh, getting owned. Any tips? The biggest trick to fighting Absolute Radiance is that the pillar of light that sweeps across the arena, you have to shade cloak dash through it before it gets to the halfway point of the of the platform. If you're waiting past that, you are risking taking unavoidable damage. So that's the that's number one priority. As soon as you see the pillar of light, you have to shade cl dash code through it as soon as possible. Have you played on Fish Swan? I have not now. Am I gonna have to talk into a camera when I like fully announce the show the game? I don't wanna do that. Hey guys, Joseph Anderson here. And I'm really excited to show you my new game. And we're super excited to be able to share this exclusive first teaser with you today. Land and sea. Okay, how's the combat? Oh, so it's like hurting the sheep in, in Odyssey the whole game? That looks pretty good, actually. Is it a puzzle game? Like, herd the sheep in directions, or, or what? I like the music. Summer Hill. Oh, it is a summer summer theme game. A folk tale about life, loss, and livestock. Is it another sad dad game? Summer Hill brings together gentle problem solving, fluid herding based gameplay and striking pastoral <laughs> landscape to tell a timeless coming of age folk tale. As a team we've been massively inspired by the rich history and cultural impact of sheep. We're also super excited Joe, you're to be right? working yeah, with I am, yeah. our long time collaborator Todd Baker. 
Next up, we have an update on Eternite. Sorry, the the uh, buzzwordification so of like like fluid hurting side. gameplay there just sent me today. like. Now, you've heard a lot about it's a fair way to say it. Title. Just kind of funny. Uh, sorry. Oh, Star Rail. I'm sorry, Greg. I know I shouldn't be interrupting Day of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it's urgent. The virus has turned most of us into into. <laughs> I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Sorry, Greg! Things are bad here! Sorry to turn to the devs! Who knows? Maybe we'll find one more thing worth fighting for. Eternite is a dating action game that takes adrenaline in combat and mixes it together with a heartfelt love story. This is for you, Weebs. Enjoy! Infected. It's too much. And it's during these moments that I'm happy to have someone to lean on. Yeah. I love you and fighting for our lives, solving puzzles, exploring dungeons. It all seems easier when you have someone special by your side. To make things less scary. So what now? Did you just shush me? <gasps> oh, you liked it. Teacher might hear us. Oh, they're pretending to be in class. A moment of normalcy. Hey. You can just fight for friendship. That's cool and not. Uh, Lock it in. Lock it in. This is amazing. This is really good. Lock it in. Yeah, unlock. <laughs> so yeah, you can fight monsters, explore dungeons, date. Oh, 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 what the fuck? I mean, so many things like train, scavenge. Okay, dance. so she's like an, an eldritch monster by the end, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, you have to manage and balance all these activities if you want to save the world. The clock is ticking. Okay. Bye. Save your date since oh here we go yeah lock it in. Wish list now. It turned night. Next up from Italian Icelandic developer. Wait, what was Evil the guy's Wizard. announcement? Comes in. <laughs> uh, what does this say? Um. Forever to be in some uh, who made it in Infinite Factory? I love the feeling of the knob. Z Zach like game, yeah. Zachtronics like game, yeah. Where the idea for oh, uh, for sure comes from, and we also love. Shenzhen I.O. by Zaktronics. Yeah, here we go, yeah! It manages to teach you low-level programming effortlessly. Does it? And Retro Gadgets you should play tries it. to cozy this is Yeah, I like this too, yeah. This is pretty fun. Fake boy. We have a fantastic oh, community. Claimed. And the people have been creating insane gadgets that go well beyond our initial expectations. Yeah, that looks fun. I don't think I would do well with that game, but if you've ever watched the Mars cool Curiosity rover on one of its missions, you very well may have become fascinated by one of the hyper-specific contraptions and gadgets it keeps on board to measure soil samples and hunt for traces of water. In Our this game, game you play as one. Important question, though. <laughs> sure, Curiosity can tell us the weather on a planet millions of miles away, but can it deliver a pizza? <laughs> can yeah, can it? We're a small team based in Melbourne, Australia, and we're making this game. Mars first logistics. Wait, hold on. You're you do it in on Mars? Mars? Logistics. Oh. We'll be helping to establish I thought it was just like Mars rover on Earth Mars. delivering pizza. We'll Who's getting the pizzas? Often Who's making the pizzas? Between A and B, using vehicles that you design and this build cool. yourself. Mars needs pizza. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, Jakey Boy one one two three five for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jakey Boy, and thank you to Block on Wake Up for the bits. Thank you very much. Deliveries. The game will give you new toys to play uh, with. How did the pizza get out? Okay, what's that? Is that a pepperoni rock that we sliced to put on the pizza? Okay, starting to think this is just a, a, a Mars rover game, and the pizza is you know just to, to get you interested. John Madden. John Madden. Uh oh, oh, be careful. Oh no! 
man. Nintendo fans are just in shambles right now. In shambles. The game is set in a vast open world. One of the main challenges in the game is figuring out how to pick up each item and deliver it safely to its destination using the parts that you have available. Oh no! This looks pretty fun. How, did, how does that work? That's cool. I wonder if there's like weight limits on the uh, on the the rover parts. Mars first logistics. You think right, that's pretty fun. Abocha, is is this gonna transition over to one the um, devolver one or no? I'm gonna guess yes. With this community of cats. But you know, it's fun. It'll be really re rewarding when it's done. This could be really interesting to watch. Definitely stick right? yeah, We're not right. completely done yet. Okay, so Devolver's next. It's starting in like five minutes, I think. I need to pee. The music is on. I'll be right back. Why is it so quiet? Okay. Devolver time. That Double Fine doc has been out for a few months already. You didn't watch it? No, I didn't watch it. Was I supposed to? Are we playing Lies of P? I don't know. Let's see how I feel after this is done. If this is like a half an hour, then probably. If it's an hour, then, you know, I'll decide. Play Evolve until Devolver start. No, my, my safe house upstairs. It's not on this computer. Did you watch last year's Devolver? I can't remember. We've watched, I think, two or three Devolver shows. Are you downloading? Lies of P? Yeah, it's downloaded. Let me see. Yeah, it's fully downloaded. There it is. The fact that they have a demo, like, available now bodes fairly well for how confident they feel about the game, huh? So maybe it's, uh, worth a look. Is Devolver just start? Yeah, it's about to start in a couple minutes. I want to say thanks for bringing up Evolve Idol, as I am now as I am now playing it more than other games. Currently, the Fungal Kingdom grows, so thanks. I hate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. The best show is always from Devolver. They usually have the most entertaining show or framing, but the games they show are not always like like bangers, which is like you know to be expected. There's going to be hit or misses depending on what, what you want. So they're not usually the most interesting show for what the games are going to be, but there's usually at least one or two things where you're like, oh, that looks cool. I like how they, they move through the announcements and the showcases pretty quickly and let the games speak for themselves for the most part. At least that's how I remember it. They don't do overly long corpo speak. That's true. They do really short, uh, succinct corpo speak. Will you be playing the new Miku game on Switch? Ooh, ooh no. I love the Jedi Survivor streams. I did too. They were good. A good time, right? Glad you enjoyed them. Can I name your game? Asks Ligma Jenna Tolls. No. Our game's already named, so slots already filled, sorry. Oh, here we go. 15 minutes? What? What's the name, Joe? Halfway through the Devolver show, you will find out. <laughs> no, could you imagine? Uh, you'll find out one day. I don't know when. Joe, have you tried playing Tears of the Kingdom in handheld? In handled, in handheld feels 50 some better IMO because input like I've been playing it in handheld mode exclusively since the last stream that we did of it. You may have talked about it already, but have you played Crosscode? I have. I love Crosscode. Crosscode is really good. Did we just lose a couple minutes there on the countdown? Is this a bit? Have you played the DLC? I have not, no. Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. All right, what do you do? Do you just talk to people? Is it like a talking game? Huh. Did the time go up? <laughs> Plus two, minus two, nice. Thank you, force field down for the resub. Big uh, Fox fan, I see. Thank you very much. What the hell is this?
Sludge Life 2. I didn't play the first one, I'll be completely lost. Demo out now. No more trailers? That's it? Okay. What is Volvi? A mole? A vole. What's a vole? The hits keep coming, let's drop another announcement. All these timers, it really makes you feel like you're playing Evolve Idol. Evolve the Idol! Nice! Did the time go down? minutes and 40 seconds bleak sword dx all right eight minutes 35 8 30 oh it's it's right this time all right buy devolver merch your current clothes are unattractive no i feel like i'm dressed pretty well right now actually Volvi. sorry you're wrong nl game many people are saying this yep double r yeah why is there a double r devolver have you read Worm by J.C. McCrae? It was published online by the author. I have not, no. I feel like someone asked this already. You've heard about Karmazoo. We'll, we'll hear about it again. <laughs> I, I have not heard of Karmazoo. Is it where bad animals go to get what they deserve? I went to the Karmazoo the other day. Nice. Karmazoo is a joyful cooperative platformer where up to 10 random players team up and must combine the abilities of 50 different characters to win and complete a loop. Yeah, no one's doing Throw that. Throw yourself on a spike and lay down an adorable little tombstone. Karmazoo is about helping people, working together, and finding bliss in cooperation. Even it's when things go wrong. Yeah, that could be a fun clusterfuck. 627. Oh, yeah, that's right this time, okay. Video games solve everything except poverty and toothaches. Ooh, excuse me. So that Yakuza game that was announced, was that like a new mainline Yakuza game or a side game or what? Spin off between seven and eight? Okay. Did was that already announced or was that a surprise like holy shit, there's another one or what? Got a hell of a trailer coming up next from Good Shepherd. Already announced? Okay. Oh, excuse me, have I played Breath of Fire? I've played Breath of Fire, I think one, two, three, and four. I don't think I finished any of them. They were games I never owned, but I rented when uh, when I was a kid. What they were all right. Are you? Me? I'm mad. I remember this. Web of weird. Okay. Maybe this is the whole show. That would be nice, right? The following trailer trailer has been paid for by Suda51. Enjoy. Who's Suda51 again? Oh, the deadly premonition guy. Right. Okay. Likely mature. What? Hey everybody, this is James Mountain, Community Manager here at Grasshopper Manufacturer. And today for a 20th anniversary... So Grasshopper when do I get to light up some demons? Hey, what the hell, man? Hey, what the fuck? The bullet fuck? train is here. Hell, monkey. And maybe I will blow your head off nicely. No, 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 Hey, every demon has the right to pick the music for his own funeral. I do love a party. 
demon hunter. Your opponents have no fight, no division. Okay. TV is video games you can't play. How boring is that? True! Unironically used to think this when I was a kid. True! Now I think video games are TV that you have to play. How exhausting is that? Like, oh, God damn it, I, I, I just can't sit and watch. That's why we have streamers. Yes, play the game for me. Think of the time savings. Volvi says it's almost time. I think if you played a Yakuza game a month, including this month, and early November, you could play the new Yakuza game at release. Aw, oh, damn. And that's all we would do every month, right? Because they take a month each. It's a Yakuza year. What is this Mortal Kombat music? And we end it with a Merry Yeekmas. Hey kids, it's me, your old pal Volvi, your favorite video game character. Remember me? I'm back. <laughs> Ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, I two, agree. one. Let's play. <laughs> RPM. For generations of gamers, this is where it all began. The cultural icon of the gaming industry, more influential than any pop star or politician, the most famous video game mascot of all time, Devolver Digital's very own Volvi. <laughs> you know him as the star of all your favorite Devolver games. But where did Volvi come from? Many years ago, Devolver Digital hired little known designer Ronathan Trotfield and tasked him with creating a character that could rival the big names of the day. You have to remember, we were trying to compete with the heavy hitters Bonk, Gex, Awesome Possum, Arrow the Acrobat. And this was no small task. Uh, is that Brian Cranston? Yeah, we spent a few years on it, but... Uh, to be honest, I don't really remember drawing it. I remember Ronathan showing us that final design. It was a beautiful moment. That face, those smart brown shoes, and of course, the master stroke. His one big hand. For gaming? I'd just never seen a character with a hand that big. We knew straight away <laughs> he had something special. Volvi was introduced to the world in his first solo game, Field Run, which went on to become a cult hit. We were seeing the sales numbers going up and up. We couldn't believe it. The demand for the character was insane. I think it's supposed to be a rat. And so Volvi went on to star in a string of hit Devolver titles. Hotline Miami. Volvi. Cult of the Lamb. Grease from Nomada. <laughs> My friend Pedro. Piku Niku. Enter the Gungeon. The list goes on and on. Volvi's popularity had skyrocketed. He was an icon, not just for video games, but pop culture in general. Convo. The merchandise was flying off the shelves. I'm talking clothing, toys, and even a range of what we called legally edible snack foods. Volvi's mystery bites. Can you solve the riddle? Uh, Join Volvi and try oh. to figure out what's in your mouth. Uh. <laughs> They're confusing to taste. <laughs> the tastes and trends are fickle. And as the years went by, kids began to want different things from their video game mascots. We saw the way the market was changing, and we made the difficult decision to part ways with Ronathan. We had no choice. We needed to keep Volvi relevant. It's Volvi that kind of looks familiar. In the new game from Devolver Digital, Cigarette Heist. We lost the big cheeky smile. I don't need your permission to eat a meat burger. Even the big hand. 
gaming. <laughs> collecting cigarettes. Oh, dude. Dude. And I don't care. It's graffiti time. Looking back on it, maybe we went too far. Volvi 2.0 performed poorly, and the character began a slow but steady decline. So, we made the decision to quietly discontinue the Volvi franchise. It felt like I was losing a family member. Well, a, a distant I remember this. Member, this is really sad. It was still quite horrible. And, uh... Nobody has seen him since. Until now. Good evening, good evening. And thank you all for coming to a very, very special night. I'm your host, Chris Jake. And you heard it right, folks. I am so proud. Chris to Jake. Present the launch event for the reboot, rebirth, and return of the world's greatest video game mascot, Volvo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, settle down, please, because it gets even better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Valdi's original creator, Ronathan Trotfield! Come on, Ron! Yes! Wow! Oh my goodness, Ron, what a moment. You are looking fantastic. Please tell me, bro, how do you feel right now on this momentous day? Very nice. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. That, that is amazing. And I yeah. cannot wait to see what you and the team at Devolver have come up with. So, uh... What do you say? You want to see him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may I present to you the new and improved Volve E! Wow! Oh my god, he is back! Incredible! But how does he work? I'm glad you asked, Chris. Well, we've taken the heart and soul of what Winnie Calcium character so lovable, but we've given him a very important new update. This is a Black Mirror episode. What is this? Biotech and machine learning. Vol E fuses the DNA of a real vol with today's most powerful AI technology. That's impressive. Yeah. In short, Volve E can instantly generate brand new, fully playable games based on simple prompts by the player. Simple prompts, you say? That's right. The consumer no longer has to wait for a bunch of slow programmers and stinky developers to be inspired. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can use Volve E to play what they want, when they want. Here, uh, let me show you. Hey there, Evolve E. Evolve Generate a game for me. How about one that, oh, I don't know, is a cooperative survival sandbox, but with wizards. Oh, is this how they're gonna do the trailers? Oh my god. The shade? <laughs> no! <laughs> Holy shit! Six alone, three, one, Damn, Volve is so good! All oh, the music! Sorry, Volvi, no gameplay, no hype. True! But chatter, this is gameplay. It's like, don't starve. Okay, I remember this. This could be fun. I, I will try this. I don't think I'm gonna stream it, but I'll try it. 
locking it. Nah, we're not locking it in. More like Bastion? Do you think so? This looks way more like, uh, Don't Starve in terms of art style to me. In terms of gameplay, it might be more like Bastion. This combat looks kind of awkward. Maybe it plays better than it looks. I like the art style, though. Wizard with a gun. Nice. Does he have a dragon? Incredible. So wait a minute. Are you saying that game was entirely generated by Valve E? No one had to spend any time or effort making it? Correct. There was no real creative process at all. Just Valve E and his wonderful machine learning. Oh. Oh, no, well, that's a good question, actually. That, uh, well, each prompt and game idea has to be digested by Valve E's powerful system, and so inevitably there are some waste <laughs> it's byproducts. It shits it out. <laughs> uh, so back to the games. Um, do you mean to say that anyone can give Valve a prompt? Even, I don't know. Me? Me? <laughs> sure, Chris. Uh, see for yourself. Oh, okay. I'm nervous now. Hi, Baldi. <laughs> Chris Jane. I'm a huge fan of the Talos principle, so I'd like to see something like that, but with new puzzles, a grander story, and big, beautiful worlds to roam around. Oh. And I'd like to see that game BJ. play right about now. I feel bad for Volvi. I can't help but notice that many of these structures are not strictly functional. Tetris? There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. What if I liked the first one? I played a little bit and it seemed all right. Worth? Curiosity? This doesn't Assistance? look like it's running well. Let's get cracking. Is that they can be solved. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Now that looks like the kind of game I could really spend my disposable income on. Thanks, Balby. Yes. Um, what happened to his big hand? Uh -huh. And the best part is that to create a game with Valve E, you don't need any game experience or uh, any of that tech stuff. <laughs> Who here hasn't dreamt of creating their own game? I have. Right? I have, I have. You there! <gasps> oh. Yes! You have a game idea? Yeah, come on up here! Come on. idea you'd like Valve E to generate? Oh, uh, okay, um, how about a super weird walking simulator where you control the character's legs independently from his body? Maybe there's some guys in horses' heads and possibly there's even a mountain? Right. Um, but let's see, Valve, what could you <laughs> rustle us up? Don't touch me. <laughs> Nate, buddy, family meeting. Let's go. Are you bringing him food again? I, I mean, not we right now. Talked about this. Not right now. You are what? literally killing him with these pizzas. You just want to throw him out? No, I'm not, I, he's 35. I want him to have some kind of discipline. Yeah. Nate, if you can hear my voice, I want you to come up here. We are having a family meeting. Is that one piece? <laughs> Did it say, are you, do you want to continue watching One Piece? Was that on it? <laughs> lock it in! Lock it in! Lock it in! Oh, it's the hardest lock in of my life. Lock it in. Here we go.
Why would you go on the wall? Oh man! <laughs> oh, can you not? I uh, d uh it's just I didn't. Yeah, let's go back in time to when you didn't. No, I I was just trying to k catch it with my uh, sorry with your foot. My... Yeah, you tried to catch it. D I saw it was starting to go, and I just tried you to. You just kicked. You thought I'll give it a good kick no, to I... counteract the fall. Yeah, I was just trying to steady it. I might be over. Yeah, you might. You I, might I, have. I yeah, over. You might have. You might have over steadied yeah, it. No, it's just a little over steadied. Well, it's not steady now. No. I, well. See you later. So, uh. <laughs> Baby steps. Locked in. Locked in. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. What like, why would if we bring a pro into this? Let's give Valby something really special here. What's up, guys? Hey, 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 what sort of prompt would you like to give Valve E here? Okay, try this, Volby. A much anticipated sequel to a hilarious online co op game. Just more gameplay, more levels, just better all around. Ooh. Show them what you got. I haven't played the first one, I'm gonna be completely lost. Human Fall Flat 2. I know I'd love to get my hands on a copy of that. Who wouldn't, right? Yeah, come on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have all met the new and improved Volve E, it's time for him to meet with you as we connect him to Devolver's global network of gamers. Yeah, that's right. Come uh oh. On. Once connected, his powerful technology will be an open source tool free for us all to use. Wow. That is generous. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> Terrifying. Bobby didn't like your game. <laughs> Save him. Oh no.
Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well that was that was fun. <laughs> uh, any more today? No, I think I think that's all the the shows today. Yeah. So let me uh, get that off. Do you want to check out Lies of P real quick or no? It's the demo. Do you want to check it out real quick and see what this what it's all about? The demo is pretty. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna finish the demo. We'll just play a little bit and see what the gameplay is like. It's like 20 minutes long, so it'll probably take you one to two hours. What's with the weird dunks today? Or the weird attempted dunks? Are they wrong? Are they wrong that I spend time interacting with my chat instead of just like beelining the game? No. But like, they're saying it like it's a bad thing. I don't get it. Weird dunks. Interacting with chat tries to climb a wall for two hours while talking to chat the whole time. Oh, we're compiling shaders. Really feel it makes you feel like you're a Jedi. That was a mod. No idea why I'm, a, why I'm a mod, to be honest. I could I could change that for you if you like. English settings. Okay, we can use the uh, the gamepad. All right. Okay. Why, why is okay? Why is okay? Functions and text and demo version lies. Okay, thank you so much. Press any button. Okay. I agree. Yep, I agree. Yep. Settings. Okay, graphics. Uh, anyone who's played this before, do you want me to turn something on or off? Why is the AMD one on? I don't have an AMD off. All right, let's see what this is all about. Defend enemy attacks by guarding. If a guard is successful, it will reduce the damage, but it will consume stamina and the damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain in honor of the great writer, Carlo Collodi. How are we doing with sound? Too loud, too quiet? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear it? Oh, is it Lies of Pinocchio? Is that what the P stands for? Okay. This is very Bloodborne. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Cuff game, it's a cuff game, yeah. Jiminy? We have to hurry. Uh, My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Okay, I wasn't expecting Pinocchio. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. All right, let's go, Cricket. Monad's lamp. Do not be afraid, even if you get lost in the fog. The Cricket will be with you. All right. You out of there. Find something that might help. <gasps> it really is a soul's like. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. What did you think the piece stood for? I didn't know. It just I thought we'd find out when we played, and then we did. Path of Cricket, Balance. Path of the Bastard, Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper, Strength. Uh, let's go Strength. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping from this location. All right, LB plus Y is not doing anything. Okay. Oh. Very Dark Souls. Oh man, it really feels like Dark Souls. What the fuck? Welcome to Crop Station. 
education, everyone. Here you will witness the most spectacular display of human endeavor on Earth. If crop is your final destination, we wish you a safe and prosperous day. Oh, pulse cells. Use a pulse cell, pulse cell to recover HP. There's a maximum number of pulse times. Pulse, number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cells will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually charged. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh. Gameplay is still social events and titles summer games. So, yeah, that's fine. We're just playing this for a little bit. Don't worry about it. Activate the upper belt slot. Activate the lower belt slot. Use the selected belt item. Equip items and gestures on the belt to use item or something like that. Hold down. Okay. Okay, we got dodge roll. Tap is side step back. Oh no. Krat Central Station, okay. I want to see like a big monster and then we'll stop. Monad's Lamp, light up the character's surroundings. Okay. Uh oh. How do I heal? There you go. Let me recount the last 10 minutes of chat. Persona 3 trailer leaked! Oh my god, the Persona 3 trailer leaked! Oh, did anyone else hear the Persona 3 trailer leaked? Wow, the Persona 3 trailer leaked! Hey, you can watch the Persona 3 trailer? The Persona 3 trailer's on Twitter. Wow, I just fucked up Persona 3 trailer! Wow, I just came in! Did anyone else see the Persona 3 trailer? Wow, wow, the Persona 3 trailer! Oh my god, the Persona 3 trailer! Whoa, someone's losing their job! Oh, hey, you, did you watch the Persona 3 trailer? Everybody, stop the press, it's just coming in! No one else knows about it yet, even though I'm here 10 minutes late! Persona 3 trailer leaked! Yeah, yeah, we know! How do you do like another sweep after you do the the charge? Hmm. Chat's excited. Yeah, I shouldn't be a second the mud. Okay, so if you do a normal R2 into an L1, oh, sorry, if you do a normal R2 into R1, he'll do a sweep and another sweep. But if you do a running R2 into an L1, he does a sweep into a stab. Okay, I wanna do two sweeps. I like the sweeps, they're easier to land. What if I roll into an attack? Oh, it's different, that's cool. The heavy's not though, okay. Is there a back step? Yeah, there's a back step. Yeah. Any anything else anyone would like me to try? I'm curious what the LBY is down there. Oh. Okay, so we charge that up and then we use it. Okay. LT is punch. Alright, is blocking like full damage reduction? Alright, Legion Arm. Uh, no, it's not. It's pretty, pretty good, though. Uh-oh. Can we backstab? Yes! Is there a parry? Uh... Doesn't look like it. If there is, I don't understand it. Are there rolling attacks? Yes, there are. There's a rolling uh, light attack. That That is it. This is a normal light attack, and rolling does this one. Which looks kind of weird. Perfect block to, to, like, for a counter, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. It should probably tell us that. Extra bag. Holding down A switches to the different, different set. Okay. There is no jump that I can see. Oh, there is a jump with um, left sticking while running. Oh, damn. What the fuck? 
There are doors and ladders throughout Krat that are locked by devices. All right, can we can we run and do an, uh, an aerial attack or plunging attack? No, it doesn't look like it. This looks like a mini boss room. Fable Catalyst. All right, not reading what any of these do. It's very Dark Souls. <gasps> Beasts all over the shop. Do 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 do. Oh. understand the groggy okay it seemed like if you time your your blocks it made the enemy weapon go red i don't know if i was still taking damage when i did that or not but it seemed like maybe doing that made him get stunned i don't know maybe that's what happened i have no idea so if you if you time your block it seems like you don't do you don't take any damage okay all right i'm digging this so far i would continue playing this I think I'm going to stop and I'll play it fully when it comes out. This is pretty good. I like, I like the art style. I like that it feels very familiar to me. Almost maybe too on the nose, actually. But yeah, pretty good. I like it. I don't know if the enemy variety and, and how it feels is going to hold up. But, you know, it's pretty good. Locked in? Yeah, let's stream it. We'll stream it when it comes out. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. Block damage can be healed, like in Bloodborne. Oh, is there a regain, regain system? It looked like I was getting, uh, getting life back. Locked in. Locked in. And uh, the Council of Weebs has to decide if they would like me to play uh, Persona 3 OG and then play Persona 3 Remake as well again later. Please decide. Can you go to the first boss assuming there was Was that not the first boss? Hold on, maybe there's a... Let's let's run real quick and see if there's a, a boss in the, when we open the next door. And if there isn't, then we'll, we'll... If there is, then we'll see it. If it's not, then we'll stop. When's the remake coming out? The remake must be a while off. They wouldn't, like, announce... They wouldn't release the PC port. And then do a remake the same year, would they? Oh man. Look at this. This is cool. Oh, it's a bonfire. Stargazer activated. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we gather at the Stark. Oh shit. You guys are such hype slaves, oh my god. <laughs> Just remake. OG remake. <laughs> I love you, Merrick. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a dog. Okay, couldn't get the, the parry off there. You haven't seen it yet? The remake looks absolutely horrible. Yeah, it's a Persona game. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, I don't see a boss anywhere. Has it, did anyone play the demo while we were we, we were uh, streaming the rest of the um, the show? Is there a boss if I just run ahead real quick and see a boss? Bro, it looks amazing. What? What, the remake? Yeah, maybe someone's just being a shitter. Use Blade Fable arts. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh oh. Uh oh.
It's like crushing a life gem, huh? Is this right? It's special events. Can't you see the uh, category? Uh oh. Uh oh. What's the red in the bottom right? What does that mean? Is that like our, um, we get another healing charge? Is there plunging? Oh, there is. He doesn't, it's true, I don't know. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. Okay, it seems to be going down the more we attack. Is it weapon durability? Greetings, powerful parade puppet. Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't. You didn't hear? You are about here alone. Okay, so he, you can change your weapon if you want to try a different weapon. Okay, how do I change weapon? Alright, so, ooh, it's a, 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 I don't know what these are called, a rapier? Alright, these have sweeps. Alright, this is probably the weapon I would prefer, but we'll go with the big one. I'm a little confused about, about what's going on in the bottom right. How do I switch web? Oh, we did it already. All right, so LBY? Okay, I don't know what that did. Use the grinder. Oh, we sharpened the blade. Why, why, why? What's that for? Okay, this has got to be the boss, right? All right, here we go. All right, stream's almost over. I'm excited. I got to go see how many universities I built. Gonna be a regular enemy later, so don't die. Parade master, what is the music? Uh oh. Dodge back for that one. Uh oh. Uh oh, what are you doing? What's he doing? Oh no! 
Oh, we're dead. Lie or die. Oh, because when you lie, your nose grows and your power gets stronger. Oh, I lie as a Pinocchio. I get it. I get it now. Oh, damn. Okay. Upon dying in the boss area, if you die in the boss area, death ergo is created at the entrance to the boss area. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is pretty neat. I'd play this. I don't know if it's gonna have, if it's gonna be good or not long term, but it feels good enough to play. It feels a bit slow, actually, um, which might be refreshing after playing something like uh, Sekiro Elden Ring. Um, maybe it gets a lot faster as it goes on. It's pretty good. I like it. I dig it. Do you beat the boss pussy? No, we're, we're done. We're already over five hours. Unfortunately, it's Soulsborne, so it's a resident sleeper. Whoa. This was a demo of the demo. <laughs> Uh, Alright, uh, tomorrow, um, we're back to Gollum, right? Because we're supposed to switch Gollum, something else, Gollum, right? So it's more Gollum tomorrow. Come back and watch me, watch me play Gollum. We're gonna finish it. Yeah, it's Gollum. Gollum Wednesdays on a Friday. No, it's, it's Gravity Rush 2 tomorrow, and then we'll finish Gollum on Saturday, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had fun. Good award show. Or a good time. You can play something completely new. So every stream. Yeah, let's play something new every single day, forever. Yeah, I think we'll do, um, I think we'll do Gary Rush 2 tomorrow. See you later. Unless. Unless. Unless.